And the Bastards of Bourbon, we're back. Hello. Hello. We Hello, actually, David. <laughs> <laughs> we actually have another episode that still hasn't aired. I'm having a problem. It was our first time doing an episode outside of the studio. Yeah. So we traveled with equipment and recorded on the laptop. And I'm, Super cool. I'm having a hard time transferring the audio, but it will be up. It, uh, it was in Franco's little speakeasy. Can't wait to see it. Yeah. Can't wait to share it with everybody. Yeah. Uh, but today, we have Manny and Brady. Hello, guys. Hey, guys. Hi. Hi. <laughs> first, first time having them both on together. Correct. Manny's been on twice before. Brady has been on once before. But he was also uh, kind of a spot here and there on the podcast you just spoke about. Yeah. And uh, a little behind the scenes. It, it was a room. It was basically like a closet. Yes. Really cool room. It was awesome tight. room. Yeah. It was a it tight, was tight fit. Yeah. And it was it was actually not as wide as the space that you see us recording right now. It was no. very small, but it was really cool. And I liked the background. I was like I was saying uh, just a little bit ago, I'm I'm going to paint this to make it darker for sure. Yeah. I think the darker just makes everything pop a little better. And Manny, am I correct? So the last tasting you did with us on uh, a podcast, uh was that the rye? Was that the uh, all the rye? I don't rise? think it was the rye. There was one more recently, I think. No, I think it was yeah. the rye. No. no, there was one more recently. Well, that would be oh, no, you've been on it three the, already. Because you were, it was you and Pat, and then it this was is my third. So yeah, that it was the rye because it was you and Pat. Oh, I guess it, it was, was the rye. rye. Yeah. I'm just I'm happy to be back. Uh, <laughs> never thought I would with this group. I believe uh, in the last time you guys were together, it was. Uh, my, I don't know the exact words, but I think it was "fuck Manny." <laughs> <laughs> Did we say that? <laughs> I, I would never utter those words. I think I might have said it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, yeah. I'll, I'll take ownership. So you guys are good friends then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we oh, like man. each other. What? I missed it. What's happening? I think we like each other. Okay, yeah. good. They both live in Cleveland. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We guys should be yeah, friends. He, he saw me in a dark spot last week. Yeah, was I was worried emotional. for your personal well-being. That's what Notre Dame does to basically everybody. He got a little emotional about Notre Dame, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. It wasn't fun. <laughs> but but after the jubilation of uh, the win being pulled out, then uh, my understanding is that there was some Blantons there to There were some Blantons consumed. <laughs> I asked Brady, I said, did he pour it in a sports bottle and just start spraying, spraying it on his face? <laughs> we really need to make this happen. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I can't not let it go. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. We, we, we need this to be come into existence. It's a good idea. I, I, I mean, really uh, just, a, just a side little video. We'll put it out on the... Yeah, on the so- on social media. Yeah, just fire everybody up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> look what these fuckers are doing with plants. <laughs> Although I saw a video, and I'm, there's no way the guy had to fill the bottle with something else. But I saw a video <laughs> on one of these Facebook uh, posts, and he just poured it right into the sink. There's so like, much like, hate for Blanton's out there. Yeah, and I was just gonna say, just because he was trying to make a point that this yeah. is not a good product. Yeah, it's... you got you got to get this guy's name. I it's want dropping on my charts. <laughs> we're, we're going to his it's dropping house. quickly. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of there. There may be a lot of good bourbon out there. Some that people think is better than Blanton's, but there's no way in hell that Blanton's is shitty enough to pour down the sink no. drain. <laughs> like, let's be real. Yeah. Even if you're like, uh, I don't get the hype behind it. There's no way you drink it and you're like, well, this is shit. <laughs> and, and I always look at it in the context of price, and yeah. and that's where it it, it it's still. Will always be so my yeah, number one. I, I get the price, but availability. I mean, it's if you can't get it, the right. Yeah, it's we're, we're lucky point. in that. Yeah. Uh, but it, it, price and consistency. We were like we were saying the last yeah. podcast because it it we've had a lot of different single barrels that the it's not the same from mm-hmm. bottle to bottle, That's and right. it's always the same with blends. Yeah, it's yeah. it's impressive actually. It really is. We also have Nymeria in the studio. She desperately wants it Manny right now. <laughs> <laughs> is uh, it because Manny doesn't have any pants on? Uh, well, I, I, I do t- have a hole in my pants. And for <laughs> some reason, he has peanut butter. I don't know what's <laughs> happening. I don't like it. <laughs> I, I, sh- I thought I smelled, smelled peanut butter. I just wasn't sure if you might maybe had a bottle of screwball laying around somewhere. <laughs> it was open already. 
There's also somewhere in this house a steroid mouse that I could not catch. Oh, so wow. he uh awesome. those those snap traps. Yeah. He definitely got caught in it and it drug <laughs> drug it around for a while because it was not where it originally was. Wow. But he was not still in it. Wow. And it did not deter him from then going to the second one and doing the same thing. I'd like to see this thing. Uh, I'm not sure I, I'm not sure I want to see it. <laughs> no. Listen, if I see it, I'm out. I'm running away. I think he, I think he might be juiced up. It might also be why every time I come home from work, Nymeria is hiding in the bedroom <laughs> and won't come out at first. Like, are you sure it's safe? <laughs> it's probably terrorizing her when you're gone. <laughs> right. We need to leave ghosts up here to deal with it. Yeah. I there said, you, "There you go. I'll, I'll bring my three cats over." I was just gonna say, "I'm about to be like, you want to fuck around, mouse? I'll yeah. go get a cat. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see how this plays out. <laughs> Shit will be over." <laughs> uh, but back to bourbon. Yeah, <laughs> we have quite a lineup here. Actually, I'm really excited for this because I have only had one of the whiskeys or bourbons on this table, and that one uh, I didn't even have in a Glencairn. Yeah. So, and I have only had one. Uh, I have had a Remus Reserve, but I've I had the three, not the four. Uh, but go ahead, Dave. You want to start down your end, and then yeah. So we should also say that uh, Mandy brought most of the bottles on the table, right? Or yeah, three. I brought two, and, and then Manny brought. Well, he brought four, four really. Yeah. The, the uncle nearest is mine that's on the table, but yeah. Manny is the one who uh, picked it up for me. So. Uh, and much appreciation. I'm the plug. I got you. <laughs> yeah. All right. So the first one is Urban Finder Redwood Empire. Uh, I didn't even realize it's Lost Monarch. I love that name. It's a. It's actually a cool label. Yes, it is. Um, it's a guy with a beard and his hair is trees. So that's redwoods. A, that's yeah, redwoods, <laughs> which are very impressive. I've actually seen them. Uh, I, when I lived in California, but it is running at 90 <laughs> proof. <laughs> Sorry. I love the Redwood Forest, oh, man. Oh, <laughs> man, hey, I am, I am right there with you. I've only been there once, and it was awesome. Yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy yeah. to see those fucking trees. Oh, yeah. It's absurd. And it's so quiet. Yeah. Because they, they absorb so much sound because mm-hmm. they're huge. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's impressive. Uh, so then we have Jefferson's Ocean. This is a new one. It is uh, Voyage 22. It is a weeded bourbon, also coming in at 90 proof. And uh, according to Manny, it was uh, apparently a very boring voyage. No pirates or anything, huh? No pirates. Uh, no no rubber ducks in the ocean. Damn it. No storms, really. Yeah. Man, just a nice, easy ride. Yeah, it wasn't, wasn't a fun one. It's probably going to be a <laughs> so ship dumb. bourbon. Damn it. I'm sure there were still uh, <laughs> shipmen. Doing, just, doing just what? stuff, <laughs> peeing, off, peeing off the boat. <laughs> <laughs> they at least had that they going at least on. Had that going for them. <laughs> and I'm sure there were some rapes. Come on. <laughs> oh God. All right, had, let's get it out early. <laughs> let's just get it out. Yeah, there. Dust, it, dust it off. We don't. We don't have Tommy here to be completely inappropriate. So. <laughs> uh, and then we have the Remus Special Reserve, which I honestly didn't even know existed. Apparently, this is actually the fourth rendition of it yeah yes there's yeah. three other ones um i believe they're all 100 proof besides the first one is i want to say it's 90 okay but yeah, yeah that's the, the one they had and i know you you know a lot more about this than i do yeah but, uh i'll at least um name it and then you can talk about it i figure it i'll is... jump into the story of it when we get to okay. it okay so it's uncle nearest 1856 and it is a whiskey Tennessee yeah it's uh, a Tennessee whiskey which is technically a bourbon uh 100 proof yeah and uh Manny has had it but none of us have I had it but not out of a Glencairn in okay. just one time so it doesn't really count no just like I'll speak about in a second about uh Noah's Mill and then uh something that I had no idea I was going to get a chance to get for this podcast Old Carter uh, it is uh, bottled in Bardstown, Kentucky, and we'll get into a little more about Old Carter and how it came about. But it's a newer uh, whiskey, uh, just started in 2017. Anyhow, the proof is 106.5, and this is batch number six. This okay. is the most recent uh, rendition. Yes. 
I actually wanted to throw out there real quick because, oh, uh, no, I think the straight edge was also out of California because I was thinking this was the first California, but it's out of Sonoma County, California. Sorry. That's but. okay. Uh, and then we have Noah's Mill, which actually comes out of the Willet Distillery. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't either until I uh, read the fine print here. Manny knew it. Uh, I have had the opportunity to taste this, but just like Dave said with the Uncle Nearest, I did not taste it out of a uh, Glen Karen, so we're just not sure how much that counts. The people around me that had it, including, including Manny's dad, loved it. Yeah, really loved it, uh, and and I felt pretty uh, sure that I needed to try and get a hold of a bottle for this podcast, so mm-hmm. I was able to do that. Man, I'm excited for this. Yeah, I'm nervous. Yeah, what is that one? One fourteen. One fourteen point three. Yeah, so the, we're rounding out as usual with the big boy bourbons. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> big boy, big boy. Big boy. <laughs> All right. All right. So should we jump right into this? Yes. I felt like I had a story I wanted to tell you guys, but I forgot it. So um, <laughs> I probably shouldn't have brought it up. <laughs> no, I love when people say that. <laughs> Actually, I did want to say that I finally made it back over to Valley Wine Cellar for the first time in forever last night. And man, I miss those guys. I love it over there. Oh, it's awesome. It's so much fun. And uh, they, they have now decorated for Christmas. It looks tremendous. Ooh. Oddly, I didn't even notice. <laughs> I was just like, yes. I thought that's where you were going with it. No, I was just like, friends, booze, awesome. <laughs> yeah. The selection of beer right now that they have is is really, really good. Yeah, that's I mean, the one thing. Like, I got, When I went there all the time, I had the, like, the back corner of one of those coolers that I would s- store stuff that I wanted to drink. Starting off heavy over there. <laughs> I could tell by Steve's <laughs> eyes. He was like, is holy shit. <laughs> I, I believe I heard someone tell me the other day. He was like, oh, you know, I'll taper it back. I'll taper it back. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> well, yeah. I just don't know how to pour right. That's well, what it comes down I to. used to keep a jigger on the table, and I'm just like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> we live dangerously. Yes. All right. Let's, let's talk about the nose. And I'm not talking about my nose. No one wants to talk about that. Yeah. People actually stop talking about it. All right. I'll tell you it's what. Offensive. I really <laughs> like the nose. Really like the nose. I'm getting. I do too. I get vanilla, cherry. I fucked up. I have to like rinse my hands off because I showered like right before everybody got here, and I'm just smelling my hands. You know, I don't think we have to go to the extent now to make excuses when you actually are going to pee. But okay, if we're going to be that creative, we'll give it to you. While he's gone too, I do want to bring up that the Remus and. This one we're drinking now, the Empire, or Redwood Empire. They are MGP. Um, I thought there was another one that might have been. I'm not sure. But I, I'm i finding a lot about MGP recently, and they are basically do everything. Yeah, Mid Midwest uh, Grain Products. Correct. Yeah. Midwest Grain Products. Yep. Uh, Indiana. Indiana, correct. Okay. They do all the High, high Wests, uh, Widow Jane. Uh huh. Angels Envy. Their their footprint is everywhere. Yeah. Much better. Yeah, I get a little cherry. Get Boy, some, get I, some char. I, it, it is very familiar, and and it's gonna come to me. But it this this smells a lot like something I've had before. There's a sweetness to it that I yeah. really enjoy. Mm. Wow. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I think everybody just looked at each other for a second. Uh, Ooh. Yeah. Well, well, goddamn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Yeah, that's definitely good. I, uh, I but, gave you the wrong one, Jacob. <laughs> the the, the, the mouthfeel, and, and I'm going to steal a, uh, a description Dave likes to use a lot with mouthfeel, buttery. Yeah, it's very buttery. Yes. It's like, 90 proof, too. Yeah, it's it's full body. Uh, the cherry really comes through. Yeah. Like, that's mm-hmm. fantastic. Mm-hmm. Holy that's like shit. like $30, too, 35 maybe. Was thir- Where did you get that? Uh, that was a Cleveland, somewhere in uh, 
I I will take at least one bottle. Okay. Yeah. (laughs) I I, I will as well. Let me jot down some notes here. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Did you bring your order form? (laughs) (laughs) Holy shit. And and I get a little bit of, uh, and, and you get it with most bourbons. You definitely get a little bit of the caramel oak that's coming through yeah. there a little bit. Um, the cherry obviously is there, but there's something else I haven't quite been able to place yet. And it, it lasts floral. Do you yep. get a floral yep. kind of? I I can't put my finger on what it is, but I, I kind of there's something to it that I really really like. Mm. Yeah. I, I I don't know. It's just there's there's it's not spicy, but man. And I always lean towards the spicy. But easy this to drink it is. It's easy Ooh. to drink. And you said it's around thirty. I that I might be making that up, but I thought it was. It might have been a little more than that. Oh uh, yeah, can we did, thirty? Did, maybe a hundred somewhere. Yeah, Try just same. somewhere around there. <laughs> Forty four. Right. That's a fucking hell of a price point. All I can tell you is you know you have a good bourbon when the. Uh, head distiller's name is Jay Duckhorn. Duckhorn? <laughs> Duckhorn. He's my favorite person. The wine, the Duckhorn wine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Same guy. I don't know, but that is excellent. I really want to try the rye one. I do too now. That really caught me by surprise. So I know there's a rye one. I know there's another one. It's a red label. I don't know which one it is, though. But and you are correct. It's it's not really spicy. There's a tiny bit of spice to it, yeah. but not, not... Just just enough where you're like, okay, it's not overly sweet. Right. Yeah. But 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 a real good marriage of... Uh, and and is, is this blended from different barrels? I believe uh, I, so. I, I, it, I think it is. I'm and, pretty sure it is. I'm gonna add a. I'm gonna add a little blend of straight. Oh, it's a blend of straight rye whiskeys and straight bourbon whiskeys, aged at least three years. So it's a mix of both. Huh. Well, they they did a nice job mixing. Man, <laughs> I put a little ecstasy in mine. Brady, what do you think of it? I think it's very good. Um, floral. I don't know about floral, Manny. I mean. I, I've never consumed flowers before, so I don't know <laughs> what that tastes like. You're really but, missing I mean, out. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah. Why are you being weird about it? Yeah. Flowers are delicious. <laughs> oh, my God. But, uh, I'm going to try it with this ecstasy in it and uh, see if it tastes any better. Okay. I fucking it, love it. Um, any better? <laughs> it kind of mellowed it slightly, but... Just muted everything. Yeah. yeah uh, it definitely tastes better without the water. Well, now I don't want to... <laughs> In it's my got opinion, I mean, it's maybe. got everything I uh, I look for in a bourbon. Forty four dollars. That's yeah. That's, that's a, a fair, f- that's fair a, point for it. It's, yeah, it's good. And, and I'm going to say right now, we're on one of six. This has just shocked me because <laughs> mm-hmm. usually the first one we try, we're just like, all right, let's move on. Come on, <laughs> come yeah. on, get it off the table. I want a second pour. <laughs> <laughs> I think that this is, is going to be excellent. I think this is going to be a long night. Yeah. <laughs> It didn't. Uh, it didn't mute. It didn't mute it that much for me. Maybe I just put less water in yeah, than everybody I else. You, I but still got to figure out the crack pipe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what I tend to do is, I get it down low, then I get it up here. And I'm like, okay, drop it let's, out. let's get rid of some of that, and then go in. I just might try uh, Jeff and just drop the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See if you can shatter it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Uh, actually, I did want to bring up fact that Garden Grill Steakhouse actually has George T. Stag, which is crazy to me. I'd never seen it not be a lottery item. Just one bottle? Uh, two. Okay. Um, the first one's about halfway gone. Yeah, I, would, I only asked that because I, I need to know my time frame on how soon yeah. I need to get over <laughs> yeah. there. Uh, but the second bottle may not end up being there. The owner may end up keeping it for himself. I would. If I, I, can't, I can't blame That's... him, but I am upset about it. Um, the uh, it is seventy five dollars a pour. I had it for the first time the other night. Susie was actually nice enough to give me uh, uh, half a pour of it, and no lie, I smelled it for twenty minutes before I tasted <laughs> it. I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> People kept asking me, "They're like, so what'd you think?" I'm like, "I haven't tasted it yet. Just settle down." <laughs> I was texting Steve. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I was texting like, I'm, "I'm just, I can't quit smelling it." Yeah, and I, then I told him. I don't want to drink it because when I do, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Tease it." <laughs> I, I did. <laughs> it's true. 
Mm. <laughs> so I'm taking my oh. time, guys. That's uh, so new good. ritual, Brady, Manny. Uh, we totally forgot to tell you guys before this, uh, before we got on air, because this could have been something where you're like, well, okay, uh, I'm not doing the podcast. <laughs> right. You, you might have bailed. Yeah. At the end of the <laughs> night. talking about the death cup. Yeah. Everything that get, gets poured in there, and it's not always just remnants from the Glen Karens, uh, <laughs> you have to split it. <laughs> yeah. So All I don't right, care uh, how you do I'll it. See you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You're locked in now. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Too late. Mm. All right. Well, uh, good man, start. Good start. Super start. I'm not done. Uh, I'm kind of safe for it. <laughs> I, I I did a light pour. Oh um, man. You know, I'm trying to be uh, a responsible adult. Yeah. When did that start? Uh. Just now. <laughs> uh, hold on a second. It'll probably last maybe 25 Eight minutes. 52. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I'll get us moving here. So we rinse. You're fine. God, that's good. Maybe that's what I, looking at the, the palate, light syrup, maybe that's what I was tasting you know, that I yeah. couldn't put my finger on Light, i could get that that syrup. that's also might have something to do with like the mouthfeel well and sometimes i think i i think of floral and it's kind of like baking spices but i'm not getting baking spices out of this no um it's pretty sweet to be honest it's not like angel's envy rye sweet but it's pretty sweet yeah yeah there, you know there's more sweetness than spiciness for yeah. sure yeah but it's it's not overpowering no it's delicious it keeps <clears throat> it keeps me wanting to come back for more yeah yeah like I'm, I'm upset that my, that I'm not putting more of it in my glass right now. <laughs> All right, so on to Jefferson's Ocean Voyage 22. Uh, obviously, we've chronicled how big of a fan we are of Jefferson's in general. Yes. So I did an entire Jefferson's uh, tasting of like eight of their ten products. <laughs> they even, as we tend to do, <laughs> right? They even liked our. Um, they like some of our social media posts. Yes. I got to remember to start tagging them and everything again. Because I stopped tagging the different distilleries yeah, and things yeah, like yeah. that. And yeah, especially with the one we just had. Because who knows? You know, they might want more of a presence in the Midwest. Yeah. And we'll, and we'll do it. Yeah. And be like, <laughs> hey, these guys really are pumping up our product. Let's, let's go ahead and send them a couple cases. <laughs> please, please do that. <laughs> Oh, that's a little bit lighter. Do, 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 do. That's, it's been that has been sticking in my head all day today. I don't know why. I'm, what is that? I, some oh man, jingle I heard. <laughs> do, I feel like I'm getting more do, do, wood than anything out of this smell. I don't get really anything. If I'm being honest with you, it doesn't do a whole lot on the nose for me. No. I already have a. I have had it before and I already have my mind made up of what I... I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think his mind is made up that it's good. <laughs> Might be. <laughs> That's... <clears throat> yeah. Uh, those were also the vibes I was getting, Dave. Yeah. I don't... But we'll see, I guess. He's being very secretive. I'm getting like a small hint of caramel maybe on the nose. Just going to taste. Yeah, I mean, I get... Uh... I, I get a little bit of burnt char. I get a little burnt char on the nose. A little caramel. I had big <laughs> hopes for it because I know you guys really liked the the other weeded one. Yeah, it was excellent. And this is just blah. I'm going to be honest. There's a good chance we also did it a disservice by putting it after Redwood Empire. Cause, but uh, I'm not a big fan. I'm not really getting too much from it. Very thin. Yeah. Yeah, there's something weird in there I'm tasting that I don't like. Salt. Don't you really get the salt. I do. I get um and I think this this is where uh maybe I need to take some bourbon classes, although <laughs> I feel like I could teach one as well, but uh just an inappropriate one. <laughs> um it's loose. And I know that sounds like what the hell is he talking about? So the, the, the marriages of these flavors, as Manny just mentioned, salt, and there's a thin feel to it. 
it's it's like it's it didn't age uh, what long it, enough. Yeah, it it just it's not cohesive. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a letdown. Um, immature, immature. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, Quit being so immature. Slutty, <laughs> slutty, <laughs> whore. <laughs> Loose. It does say sea salt, <laughs> caramel, vanilla, brown sugar. Everything it, it lists, I, I get a little bit of. Yeah. It just doesn't. I even get the dried apricot, and that's probably another reason why I'm not a big fan, because I fucking hate apricots. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're pretty good. I think they're good uh, for you, too, health-wise. Uh -huh. That usually means that they don't taste great. They look like yeah. chewed up <laughs> yes. bubble gum. That's what dried apricots look like. I got a kick out yeah. of that this morning. <laughs> Chewed up bubble gum. <laughs> mm. Can I pour this out? I keep out? telling your dad to watch that part of the podcast we did together. He's like, I have no idea what you're talking about. I go, just ask Manny. I still don't know what, what we <laughs> were go talking about. Get... <laughs> Dave went to the bathroom. He was gone his normal 10 minutes. <laughs> and we, we were just filling time. <laughs> yeah. No. Nymeria. Oh, this little bitch. <laughs> She's about to go on so, the road. So, no, to answer your question, you don't have to finish it. I feel like it's my duty. Um, well, I didn't put water. Yeah, that's the responsible thing to do. Yeah. Right? Right. I mean, I paid $80 for it, whatever it was. So might as well. Uh... And, and, and So you could have bought two of the first one yeah, for the price of it. Just about. One. Yep. And here and, and here's the conundrum with Jefferson's Ocean. Ooh, conundrum. I know. I'm, bring, I'm bringing out the large vocab, the vernacular. Vernacular. <laughs> so it is. Vernacular. It, it's a high end product because of how it's made, and yeah. it's somewhat of a novelty. Uh, and in the first few voyages that they actually came out with, because the first well, the first couple they couldn't bottle because they realized that. Um, they were aged too long. So, yeah, so once they... Thick like molasses or something, yeah. they said, right? Once yeah. they perfected it, the first few were really good. But since then, and now we're up to 22, uh, you, you get some good ones, some really good ones, and you also get just, eh. As much as I like Jefferson's, I, this might be the last bottle of Oceans I, I purchase. For the price and, and point, and just wait for someone else, right. and then they it's, say, "Hey, you gotta get this one." Then I mean, because the se I have the I've seventeen, done the same thing. and I think at the twenty, and they're good. Are they ninety dollars? No, I do think it was better with the water. I agree. Yeah, yeah. it's still not it's good. Still, but. <laughs> yeah, and the mouth feels just not good. Yeah, it's not a good mouth feel. No, it's no bloody butcher. <laughs> You know that was what? Tommy's number one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right, let's just slide that back into the uh, mix. I mean, I'm not trying to rush anybody. You can put it behind the mix. <laughs> no, I've been done. <laughs> he been done? I've been done. <laughs> go on, get. <laughs> you go on, you get. <laughs> get. <laughs> <laughs> That might need to be a shirt, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Or we could just put both on one shirt. <laughs> put one on one side. <laughs> one on <the> other. <laughs> uh, people would be so confused walking around like right. Kroger or whatever with like, that what's on. What's up with this guy's shirt? <laughs> it's just, it's, it's easy that? now, Tiger. <laughs> and, and he's got a big tiger on the front. <laughs> Or just put my face on the front, your face on the back. It says, "Go on, get." Uh, we don't want to scare anybody. Come on, hey. Like you'll have uh, kids will be crying in the corner, asking their parents why that that freak has been in in the liquor get rid of it. Yeah. in the liquor section for a half hour. Get rid of it. There's a, there's a strange bald guy no, in the bourbon section touching that's himself. That's just gonna be later when I have to drink it. A little yeah. bit of flavor. <laughs> I did see. Uh, I was. I get on some kicks where I'll just watch four hours of bourbon reviews mm -hmm. on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I don't. It's probably unhealthy. I don't know why I do it, but I think it's great. I go on kicks, so it's just. It, yeah, that's not I unhealthy. Good, I think it's good research. But the guy that looks like you popped up, and honest to God, I had to like triple 
take. Isn't that weird? Because I thought it was you for a good 10, 20 seconds. <laughs> I haven't talked to him again in a while, but I, I, I know like whenever if we ever do make that trip to Kentucky and we line it up with him, I'm pretty sure he'll be down. Oh, yeah. Because he was pretty excited. Yeah. He texts. Well, not text. I guess it's Facebook message or whatever, though. He's, it's weird how he responds to things. So he's kind of a weird guy. <laughs> But it we fun. all and, and <laughs> I'm yeah, obviously super weird. with uh, <laughs> <laughs> obviously with the situation we're in and the pandemic, uh, that's definitely going to be a 2021 trip. Yeah, but it needs to happen in 2021. Yeah, it's, I don't know if it's even looking good for that. Things are yeah. getting the fact the vaccine will be here, and I don't know if I can months. take it right away. I'm not. Just because it's normally like I'm all for vaccines. Yeah, I'm for vaccines. I'm not an anti-vaxxer, <laughs> but when it's normally a three to five year process, Ooh, and heavy. then it's now it's like a yeah. ten month process, well, it makes will, me a little nervous. I, I will be your guinea pig because yeah. I don't have a choice. Because when it becomes available in Ohio, uh, all nursing home employees are going to be the first to get it. Oh, really? And you will not be able to be allowed to work in a nursing home if you don't get it. No so shit. that's going to be interesting. Seems like a good way to not go to the office. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't get the vaccine. Uh, I'm still going to cash checks, though. <laughs> I'm going to be working remote. <laughs> I'm going to be working the TV remote. <laughs> All right, so this is the Remus uh, Repill Reserve. Yeah, this is series... Four. This is another. So this is MG. M, we talked about it already. MGP. This is their actual bourbon. This is the one that they put the label on and say this is one that we make. Okay. They only do it to two. Yeah. And uh, Jeff Summers uh, first turned me on to this. He's got. Uh, he might even have two. Uh, at one time, he might have had two and three. He also has just the regular Remus. I bought a bottle of that. I think it's about thirty-five dollars. Yeah. I haven't tried it yet, but I heard it's. Drinks like a rye. Very spicy. Yes. Very, very spicy. So uh, I'm very anxious to try this. Uh, uh, thanks to Brady. So it's kind of a cool little thing they do on the label here. It is 77% um, of a 2008 bourbon Twenty that was 21% rye. And then it's 23% of a 2008 bourbon that is 36% rye, which means... That this bottle is roughly twenty five, in some odd change percent, rye. Yeah. Oh shit. So, I got to tell you, the guy on the back is very dapper. He's dapper, and he actually looks yeah, like a young he's Al Capone. A, yes. So, well, essentially, the George Remus, he was a famous bootlegger. Ah, there oh. you go. So if the shoe fits, yeah. And then you put those bitches on. Sorry. <laughs> right. It's my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Went too far. <laughs> yeah. I'll just go to the bathroom. <laughs> no, please. Humor us with some elaborate story. <laughs> my hands smell too good. I have to go I have to go wash them off. <laughs> it's all I can smell. <laughs> the uh on the nose, I I did get some of that chocolate. It's not listed on there, but I felt like I got brown sugar. Well, this is a different that's the uh, original. That's the regular Remus. Yeah, this is a different. Yeah, that's not it. I get cinnamon. Yeah. Cinnamon. Yeah. Cinnamon. Big cinnamon. Spice right away. Yep. Right on the tongue. I feel like I'm getting brown sugar. Do you get orange at all? Yeah, for sure. Okay. I didn't know if I was crazy or. I get it. I get it on the smell. I get I get cherry on the smell. I agree. That's interesting. I'm so afraid that I'm getting cherry just because of the Redwood Empire. Because for a second, I thought I got it on the 22 as well. The really? The 22. Yeah, I, I didn't. Yeah. God, I didn't. so much cinnamon. It's a lot. It, it is. It's a, almost a little overpowering. Um, so would you say that uh, uh, this one's uh, spicy? Yes. Yes. Okay. For sure, it, it's it's nowhere near spicy Ooh. like spicy spicy. I give it a okay. If I'm gonna go with a one, two, and three spice mm -hmm. as my mm -hmm. levels, I right. give it a one spice, maybe uh, one and one a half. Spice. Okay. Maybe a one and a half. I'm thinking maybe two there, spice. Two spice. Okay. How about sporty spice? Do you even know who sporty spice is? I don't is? know what that means. Do you guys no. know who that no. is? 
You guys don't know who the Spice Girls are? Oh, my. Oh, Spice Girls, yeah. yeah. I've heard that. <laughs> why why are we like yeah. what you got you losers don't know about the spice girls <laughs> what's wrong with what's you what's wrong with you baby spice come on <laughs> sometimes i forget it's 2020 and that we probably should have never been listening to the spice girls right. <laughs> <laughs> or know their names <laughs> scary spice sporty spice yeah. <laughs> yeah never heard of the actual individual names yeah. before <laughs> there's there's uh, two more, but I can't remember. It's I blame it on my sister. Sorry, Hannah. Sure you do. Okay. Listen, I don't want to talk about it. Their <laughs> albums were beautiful works of art. <laughs> I will say this. I like this better than the last time I had it. And I think it, it was up against mm. Stag. So uh, everything I had after that was going to be not good. It's got a nice little sweetness I, to I it, I like too. it. It has a, it has a good mouth feel. Uh, it it doesn't it's not as good of a mouthfeel as the redwood. Um, it's a little I mean it's a different kind of bourbon altogether. Do you get a little sweetness out of it? I do. I do. Yeah, I mean, but it does have it, a pepperiness. It to hits it hard, and then it, the finish is. I yeah. really like the finish. It comes off aggressive, and then that quickly fades, and it. Yeah, oh, I keep licking my lips because I, I feel like it's just sweet. You better you better use the bathroom. <laughs> What am, what am I going to do about my sweet lips in the bathroom? <laughs> I feel like this is turning into a totally different podcast. <laughs> well, each one has its own flavor. <laughs> so you better use the bathroom. <laughs> Listen, Spice Girls, settle down over there. <laughs> uh, I'm on a roll uh, tonight. How much is this one? Is this one of the ones this you got, This was Manny? $90. Okay. So this was 90, uh, you said Jefferson's was like 85. Jefferson's was, yeah. Redwood was 4-4. Four, four, four. Four. John, John Riggins. Ah, John mm-hmm. Riggins. Mm-hmm. Again. I'm a massive fan of John Riggins. Yeah. I, I didn't really know that much about him until, did you see his NFL uh, football oh, yeah. life? Yeah. Man. Amazing. He's just a man. Yeah, just let the old like people a talk man. now. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? I said, let the old people Listen, talk now. Yeah, you guys he he was well, a... Go ahead. I was just going to say, you might as well be speaking like Spanish right, right. now. I don't really... He was a stocky, white running back. He was and a fullback. Did he have a fullback. He, he was a fullback. You have the neck and at one point, he had a full-blown mohawk. <laughs> 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 and he drank beer before... Everything. Yeah. Smoked cigarettes. Probably cigars. Cigars. so good. He I, he was like the definition of a man. And he he played fullback but was their lead rusher. Right. He, he, was, he, did, he wasn't like the typical, oh, I help block sometimes on goal line touches. No, he was the guy that they were giving the ball to. Yeah. That's, it was my, maybe my favorite football life. And a kind of appropriate to talk about after having Remus because, you know, he seems like he'd be a Remus guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I don't know on on what account you're <laughs> basing that on. I don't know, but I was just trying to tie it all in, Brady. Come on. Work with me. Right. Try to get okay. all the way back to bourbon. Okay. <laughs> it, I, it, we were really far out there and we tucked it right in. I feel I feel like I feel like me and you keep going on these side tangents. Maybe we should do a gathering of fools soon. <laughs> <laughs> I think I actually liked it with the the water a little bit more. Oh, I forgot. I I almost forget every single time. Yeah. I I, I, uh, I like it. I do. It's good. I like it better than the Voyage Twenty Two. Yes. It's more complex. Has more depth. Um, it's got a lot going on, actually. It's, yeah. it's a it's a high price point, in my opinion. It is a high price. It's point. a high price point. Yeah. But it's is it ninety? Is it worth the ninety? Uh, there's other stuff I'm going to go. Absolutely. For. Absolutely. But if you get a chance to have it. Uh, especially if it's a decent um, priced pour at a at a bourbon bar or bar yeah. period. And like I said, I would like to try the the series three. Every everything I listen to is that's the best one by yeah. far. Jeff really likes it. I will say this, like I said, this is better the second time around. First time it was Jeff. I have to get the, to go try that Larceny Barrel Proof. Yeah, I keep forgetting. He brought up larceny. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Figure, he'll figure out some way to bring it up. <laughs> I w- I'm talking about the barrel proof that I want to try. 
I did polish that bottle off with a bunch of Coke Zero, though. <laughs> there and there and is truthfully, nothing wrong with that. And truthfully, it was still not very good. <laughs> <laughs> Brady, what'd you think of it? I thought it was good. Um, I'm trying to figure out if I think it's better than the first one. Uh, well, you have time. Yeah. Probably have to retaste them at the end. Which is <laughs> Go ahead and start. I got a little bit left. Probably a bad okay. idea. Yeah. I feel like that's, gonna, that's, that's breaking tradition. I can't. We'll just wait. <laughs> <laughs> just seems unnatural to me. He just gives you the yeah, heebie-jeebies, yeah. like oh, like no. it's just gonna throw everything off. Next thing you know, I'm breaking Glenn Karen. Hey, Jacob, did I just say heebie-jeebies? Yeah. Make a note that uh, I never say that again. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you're worried about breaking something later, uh, I feel like you should just like spike one of these on the ground right now and get it over. I know. So our last podcast, I, I believe Don't we lost <laughs> um, three, uh, maybe four. Glenn Karen. Oh man, I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> so I brought a box like, of six. Poof. He was like, he was just like, fucking yeah, opening them oh, all over the place. Oh, they just vanished. It's Oprah, you get a Glenn Karen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Glenn Karen. just like yeah. <laughs> I mean, I I get out of the car, I grab the box of six. We haven't even done. We haven't even. I haven't even had a sip of bourbon, yeah. and just boom on the parking lot. And I thought they were all broken. Yeah, I don't know how. Uh, only managed to break two at that point, but it gets better. <laughs> it gets way better. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. So then, I'm about to get in my car. We've said our goodbyes. Uh, Franco's giving him a ride home, and he's about to get in there and drops him again. <laughs> it, for sure, he was like, "Well, those are just gonna stay there now," because <laughs> it again sounded like all of yeah. them broke. Yeah. And I, I was like, well, no, let, let's just look. And I looked, and there were still three good ones. Yeah. And I was like, here, man, there's still three good ones yeah. in here. He was determined to break. <laughs> You're going to have to buy more Glenn Karen. I know. <laughs> Trust me, I know. I mean, I went from, like, I had 12, and now I'm down to, like, six. <laughs> Uh, it, the Glen Karen case, yeah. <laughs> not not the, not that not, not that, that one. Oh, he no. had like the box that's, to come in. Yeah. That's that that case is Steve proof. Yeah, <laughs> he, he, could, he could he could chuck that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, uh, a couple times. Yeah, you know. yeah, we could play football with that. They'd be fine. <laughs> <laughs> and little does BJ know, he brought a uh, a case of four. He had he has a cool little case like that, but it it has four in it, so it's a little different. And he left two at my house. And You're going to break those two? Well, <laughs> he's like, oh, hey, I left two Glen Karens at your house. I'm like, ah, well, I broke four last weekend. You're not getting those. Yeah. Back. <laughs> You're like, no, no, oh, no. weird. I haven't seen them. Yeah. These ones all, these ones all Sorry. look. Sorry. These ones look just like mine, so I assume they're mine. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's get to Uncle Nearest here. Sorry for the delay. Now, Uncle Nearest actually has a fucking spectacular story. And actually, I'm curious. I'm going to look at something real quick here. No? Okay. Um, so, Uncle Nearest is actually uh, in reference to a person named Nathan Green. His nickname was Uncle Nearest. Okay. And he, sounds familiar to me. He started out his life as a slave for Nathaniel? Reverend... Nathaniel? Uh, Nathaniel Green? I think just Nathan Green. Okay. So. Uh, uh, but so there was a guy, a reverend in Tennessee named Dan Call, and he obviously owned slaves. And one slave ran this little small distillery he had. That was Nathan Green, Uncle Nearest. And uh, at one point, a guy named Jasper comes to work for Reverend Call, a white guy, and he gets really fascinated with. The distillery and he wants to go learn everything at the distillery so I, apparently he just begged the reverend to let him go work in the distillery so he learns everything he knows about distilling from nathan green okay who brought forth the first sugar maple tree charcoal filter so he was the one doing wow. the charcoal filtering yeah so jasper after he learns everything decides to go out on his own and start his own distillery and uh, he wanted to name it after himself, but instead of using Jasper, he used the name that everybody called him, Jack. Okay. Last name, Daniels. No way. Yeah. So Jack Daniels' whole recipe comes from Uncle Nearest. 
No way. Yeah. That's very cool. What an awesome story that is. How cool is that? Yeah. Now let's hope it doesn't taste like. Uh, I was going to say, if Daniels. it's Jack Daniels, well, I'll throw up all over the place right now. <laughs> Just do it in the salad bowl. <laughs> uh, then I gotta. Yeah, you'll be taking that back down there. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, if you do that, I'm also going to let you take it with you. <laughs> take that with you. <laughs> I think that's a good deal, Manny. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice bowl. bowl. Yeah. Well, I can tell you right now, it's not Jack Daniels. It's definitely not. That Jack nose Daniels. is <laughs> wonderful. It's a good nose. Mm. I get I uh, really smell too much. I, I'm having a hard time getting it. Really? A certain distinct. Um, I'm having a hard time sniff. pinpointing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm but not, it smells good. It yeah. smells good. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I mean, but get, I'm having you, a hard. You get the oak. You get like there's a little char in there. Almost like a toasty yeah. smell. Yeah. I agree. I'm not getting like fruit on it at all. No. Um, uh, maybe pancakes. Slight hint of orange. <laughs> I was going to say maybe a little orange. Yeah. I feel like I've said orange for everything tonight. No. But only <laughs> like only oranges. second time. I do definitely get the char. <laughs> Landing an airplane over here. Mm. <laughs> Sometimes I don't always do the Kentucky Chew with all my bourbons. Mm. But when I remember and think, oh yeah, I want to, I want to chew this, so I chewed it. That's why I was, you know, making all these weird, <laughs> weird. <laughs> Look like you were drawing something. <laughs> yeah, uh, hundred proof. I wanted to mention that before yeah. I took the sip. Uh, Remus was also a hundred. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I like it. My initial reaction is, I, I like it. I don't know that it has the 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 mouth feel of the redwood. I agree, but it's still decent. Uh, I'm still trying to kind of place the flavors. I don't want to look up there because I don't want it to like get in my mind and be like, "Oh yeah, I got that." It's it's, there's, there's, <laughs> it's just I don't need. It's a hard it's, to it's hard to place. Yeah, it's it, it feels, to me that's what it is. It's one of those ones that it's hard. Like, it's, it's like it's good. Bourbon. I enjoy it's good, it. Good, not bourbon. It's whiskey, whatever. Yeah, it's technically a bourbon. Right. It's. it's is there an age statement on this? Bad it's boy? good. I just can't pinpoint certain. And I don't know if it's. I don't want to say it's complex because that's. I don't know if that's the right term. I will say it. It definitely. I like the finish. It comes off. It hits you right away. You can tell it's hundred proof. Mm -hmm. And then it dies down. I, I definitely like the finish. Yeah, on it's this. it's fairly smooth for a hundred proof. Right. Uh. So. Uh. Is this the same proof as the one before? Yes. Yes. Or, yeah. Yes. So. I feel like I can tell with this one, um, it's a higher proof. Whereas the Remus, I felt like it was, I don't know. I actually thought the Remus was maybe a little bit smoother than this. But I'm not saying it's better necessarily. I mean, just looking up they're, there, I think, they're hey. They're both real smooth. Hey, that's, I get, I hey? don't know. Wait, hey. what does it say? Oh, my God. I kind of, I, I can see it. <laughs> Smoothest whiskey hey, hey, hey. in Tennessee. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's my bad. <laughs> I don't know what's I don't know what's gotten into me today. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but I, I I get the um so there's an earthiness to this. Yeah, definitely. All right. Yes. I mean that's I think what's overpowering it for me. Again though. I, I don't dislike it. I like it, but there's just not enough in it for me to get excited there's about no it. There's no standout. Yeah. Like, this, I really like get oh, this, my God, yeah. this nose is amazing, or the mouth feels amazing. or it, it, it. To, me, to me, it's one that I'm excited to try again. Mm -hmm. You know, on, a, on another. I think it might be one of those ones that I'll get more as I get used to it, I guess. Yeah. But... I'm excited that I have a bottle. Yeah. Uh, because I want to uh, keep exploring it. And tell people that story. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> Which is <laughs> just... one of the better stories we've had on the podcast. So that so the so Jasper was Jack Daniels. Yes. And Uncle Nearest was the Nathan Green. A who, slave. Who taught Jasper yeah, he how to how to make this. Especially that charcoal filtration yeah. system that they still use to this day. 
so uh, Uncle, but they called Nathan Green Uncle Nearest. Yes, yes, that's wild. Yeah, that's what they called him. And he yeah. did end up. Uh, by the way, I should throw out there, he did end up being a free man. Nice, as he should. If and you I, make good whiskey. I still think his his full name was Nathaniel. <laughs> Nathaniel, probably. It might have been there's, probably. There's a lot of Nathans that just go by Nathan. Yeah. There's a lot of Nates. Right, right. But I think I think he actually wanted to be called Nathaniel. <laughs> yeah, I don't. <laughs> I don't really feel that. All right. I think you can fact check me. <laughs> that late, that last taste I had, I feel like I got a little bit of apple on the finish. Uh, it's tough because we're not very, we're not giving very descriptive notes on it, but I can't well, pick anything out of it to really say, oh, I get this and that. Yeah, yeah it's, so it's, it's one of those ones that's hard. Yeah. I think it kind of shows with the notes that are up here. Like, they don't have too much up here. I Caramel, like, apple, hay. Ones. Oh, well, I... I get that. I said earthy. <laughs> Earthy's up there, but I swear I didn't see it before I said it. You're like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what I don't get. I don't get a creamy, lush finish. <laughs> Caramel and you don't get the corn outro? <laughs> corn outro. <laughs> I like don't a, even. It's that's like a, a musical piece. Yeah. Yeah. I get a corn intro. Uh, I like it better with the water. I do. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I like it better with the I water do too. Still, I, I really I do think I'm catching on. an undertone of apple. Like it's not forward, but I think I'm because there's a sweetness in there that I'm trying yeah, to place. Yeah, I, it's definitely I get the apple. Yeah. yeah, for sure. I agree with you so much when you say earthy. I mean, that's a perfect way to describe it. <laughs> Not dirt, earthy. but right. it's earthy. Yeah. I mean, it's earthly. I don't know what earthy means, but it's, it's earthy. But you get wines like that are dirt. earthy, and, and people say, well, you're tasting the soil. Well, well, we're we're not tasting soil here. I hope not. I think we're, <laughs> we're not drinking we're, larceny. I think what we're tasting is we're tasting the wood or the char, <laughs> and it's somewhat... Has overpowered it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, that, I think that's the most forward thing I can get is the char. It'd be mm -hmm. interesting to see what kind of uh, level of char they did for the barrels. It would be. Come on, Jacob. Pull that up real quick. I think it's over to the left. No, that's, that's uh, okay, Dog Duxon, smart-ass corner. <laughs> <laughs> he looks cool as hell. Yeah, he God, is, that, that is one dapper dog. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I do. I enjoy I, it. I, I don't mind it. If I don't mind it, I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's definitely it's solid. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, know. I don't think you'll be yeah. disappointed if you the, buy it. I don't think there's no. I don't think the price point is terrible. No, it's not. I'm, it's I'm not, happy I have a bottle. It's not uh, great. It's not terrible. Point? It was fifty five. I think fifty is definitely yeah, worth bad. having it in your collection. I, I would don't, say about ten dollars cheaper would be ideal. I think is yeah. perfect for it. I think that would be ideal. Are we of legal age to drink? I, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> hey, which, by the way, I can't believe I, f I forgot to mention uh, a long time ago, Brady had a birthday yesterday. Mm. He is now Michael Jordan slash LeBron James. I would have had a cake yes. here. Oh, well. Well, we brought bourbon. I mean, we can <laughs> yeah, that's better. <laughs> we can go to Taco Bell later. That'll be. That'll you know, be I will good. say my fa I still I'm, I'm jealous of his graduation picture. When you're drinking the Widow Jane yeah. and you have the Igor right in your hand, yeah, I showed Pat that last mm -hmm. night. He's like, mm -hmm. "Wow!" I actually, <laughs> I actually did take a pull of it. Uh, my mom took the picture, and afterwards she was like, "Oh, you actually drank it?" It's like, <sighs> "Yeah." yeah I'm at, Are you kidding me? If you put it in front of me. I'm going to do it. it. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Oh. I'm, I'm going to read this because we're just sitting here. Did you know that less than 1% of Uncle Nearest premium whiskey barrels will ever be selected as, a, as single barrels? In order to be a candidate for our Uncle Nearest 1820, the whiskey must be aged a minimum of 11 years with a cash strength above 108, and each one is handpicked by our founders and approved by a panel of whiskey industry professionals. These barrels are exceptionally rare, and the whiskey is worth the wait. Now, that is not the one we have, though. We have 1856. 56. But, yeah. I, I mean, it, you're figuring uh, it's probably got to be 58.6 proof percent. Yeah. So, 
I gotta be honest. I've definitely because there's a level below this. That yeah, we know. It's a, it I want to say it's a forty or something like that. And then the, there she is. If there's a level above this, then I want I want to try that. Yeah, for sure. You know. Yeah. Especially after reading that, it's yep. apparently super rare, so we'll probably never get it. <laughs> oh no, we'll get it. I don't know. I'm, yeah, it's crazy. Hey, I, I don't know how we got that. Yeah. <laughs> well, ding and, dong. Well, and I say that, it's and like I think when we vinegar. first started this podcast, I think about half the ones that we have on the shelf now. We thought we would never, never be, get, never get, right? So it's 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 happening, right? <laughs> and and we're like we're getting ones that we didn't we never even heard of, knew, knew of, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and yeah. I'm excited for that old. We car. are expanding our horizons <laughs> and and diminishing our livers. <laughs> Yeah, I, I can I can hear Pam now. Like I'm not sure. I can hear her telling friends, or, yeah, uh, you know, family members. I I know he's really enjoying the podcast. I'm just not sure how much longer he'll be able to do the <laughs> podcast. Well, they, <laughs> I mean, science is uh, progressing at an astounding rate. We might have artificial livers soon. Oh, could you imagine oh, artificial wow. livers? I'm in. Yeah. I don't even need to wait for yeah. like full testing on that. <laughs> no. Yeah. Nope. Not like no. the vaccine. Sign me up. <laughs> Throw it in. Yeah. You need a test candidate? Yeah. I'm in. Can I get like three of them? <laughs> <laughs> I actually always tell people when they ask, start asking about the podcast. and Because uh, at Garden Grill, I mean, people talk to me about the podcast all the time. Uh, but when they start asking about it, I'm like, honestly... It gives us a really good reason to drink a lot of bourbon. <laughs> it does. And and uh, a lot of different types of bourbon that we would otherwise probably never attempt to drink because you you tend to stay in your cocoon. Yeah. If you're just drinking bourbon for the sake of drinking bourbon because you like it, well, you're going to probably have 10 to 12 that you really like. Yeah. And you're probably just mainly going to stick with those. Yep. Even when you order it at a bar, you're out at a liquor store. But this has really not forced us, trust me. Um, <laughs> yeah. You know, like you had your right. arm. Didn't have to twist our yeah. arm very far. <laughs> <laughs> but when I'm driving to Philly and I stop at four different liquor stores on my drive from here to there. Right. And in my mind, I'm doing it for the sake of the podcast. Yeah, but at the same time, I'm like, you never know what I'm gonna find. Period. Yeah. It's exciting. It is. It is exciting. For some reason, people that work in liquor stores hate us bourbon hunters, but I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> it's a game. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a, no, it, it is. is. It is. It's a lot of fun. It is because you never know. You pop in a little small trail hole yeah. in the wall. Right. They might have everything. That's right. I, I used to be into craft beer like that, kind of the same way. And it, I, I got to tell you, I enjoy the bourbon way more because I, I really never thought when I started this whole bourbon thing when you told me like oh hey it's bourbon now not scotch <laughs> and I I think the first good bottle I got was E.H. Taylor yeah. small batch and loved it right away but I never expected to actually drink a liquor and be able to like pick out notes from it yeah I just that was something that never even crossed my mind would ever happen in my life yeah and as my palate keeps progressing, it gets exciting. It does. Like you, like all of a sudden, you're like, you'll have breakthroughs. Yeah. You're just like, holy shit! I taste apple. Right. I taste this. Right. You're like, I, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> I remember the first time my palate took a jump was with Buffalo Trace, and I was text, I was blowing you up. I'm like, holy shit! <laughs> yeah. Because it just blows you away that a twenty five uh, to twenty seven dollar bourbon can can be that complex and that good. Yeah. Nice Hello. Flip. Nice. Coming at you. We'll keep the same order. Oh, I mean. I'm very excited I, I, for this. I am forever an optimist. Excited. Okay, forever an optimist. I am concerned about my optimism for this bourbon. <laughs> for a lot of reasons. One, the price tag. Yeah. Two, it, it's like uh, just blinding, blindingly saying, just get it. <laughs> just get it <laughs> I gotta tell you the, uh, I'm excited for this one too because when you first messaged me about it I didn't realize what it like. I thought it was like a 30 or 40 dollar bottle but it's you paid what for it? 170 170 well, okay to be honest 
Okay. Yeah. I, I appreciate that because I don't like when you lie to me. I know. <laughs> I, I didn't want it to come out later. <laughs> but uh, I, said I can't trust them anymore. <laughs> This, that was my quiver voice. Podcast <laughs> over. <laughs> uh, uh, and then I looked it up and I was like, holy shit, this thing's selling for fucking $400 on here. So. Wow. I like the color. We haven't really talked much about color tonight. I like this color. Actually, it is. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's like yellow. No, it's. It's not yellow. It's not yellow. <laughs> <laughs> it's not yellow. I'm, I'm would, like trying to move it. Like, what light is he looking at it in? Uh, I would classify it as a, a um, three days without water hangover. <laughs> <laughs> so me on Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> I will say it's a little lighter than I thought it would have been for the proof. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, uh, reminder, 106.5. We are now into the big boy bourbons oh that might have been the best ones you guys ever done <laughs> that was smooth <laughs> it's smooth it's best smooth <laughs> real smooth what am i getting on this news i know i like said a lot i get orange well i get orange yeah there's orange there for sure i mean there's no doubt it's weird tonight like a the main thing I'm getting on everything's nose, except for the first one, is just, like, wood and char. I agree with you. I, I, I For a second, I was worried that something was wrong with me. <laughs> right. No, but I'm, like, I, I'm not getting any distinctive things on the nose. No. Except for the first one, I definitely got cherry. Right. No, yeah. I think the first one was the most... So these are part of the reason why they're so expensive. I should give a little history about this. Um, so Mark and Mary... Or Mark and Mary... I must have Mary on the mind. I don't know. Mark and Sherry Carter. <laughs> Pam in the building. Are the owners of Old Carter. Okay. Hi. Is that like an insult from his wife to him? Like, hey, yeah. old bastard. So they actually uh, got ownership and partnered with the people that make Kentucky Owl. Oh. So they decided that they enjoyed this business so much. Well, first of all, stepping back. They, they originally are Napa winemakers. Okay. And they make a high-end cab, uh, among other wines, uh, and it's by Carter Vineyards, but I don't know what their labels actually go by if, they, if Carter's actually in the label on the wines. Decided to get into the other end of it and got into and got partnership with Kentucky Owl, and um, as that became very popular and very expensive, decided to branch off and do their own, which is Old Carter. That's 2017. Okay. So since then, they've uh, put out six batches of either their standard bourbon or their rye. And, yeah. And they're working on, like, much older bourbons that they're going to actually distill themselves. These are blends. This is from eight. I was going to say it has to be a blend yeah. if it was just 2017. Yeah. Yeah. These, yeah. This is uh, from eight different barrels. Uh, but part of the reason why it's priced as high as it is is there's only like 1,600 of these bottles. Oh, wow. So each batch that they come out with is anywhere from 1,000 to like 2,200. Yeah. At the most. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But it, so that's. <laughs> I, I think that's important to know because someone's like a bottle. $170. Like, yeah. What? Well, but yeah, if it's that rare, I mean, that's that's rare. Rare. Yeah. Actually, should I get you a glass? I have Coke Zero. I have... You good? That's what I brought. Can we get uh, a okay. score update? <laughs> score update? Oh, yeah. Hmm. 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 <laughs> well, well, well. Very complex. Very complex. A lot going on. This has got Pat Speets written is, all over is. it. <laughs> you better text him now. Actually, Get him over his here. His name is right there. <laughs> <laughs> another little, uh, before we get into the flavors, another little nugget that I found out is that the label has a horse on it. The horse... horse. Uh, why, why are you horse. saying it like that? Horse? Horse. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what? Horse. What? 
are you saying to me? <laughs> I, I'm trying to pronunciate. <laughs> pronunciate? I don't know what I'm saying. Wow. <laughs> no, so really, it's whore, not that bad. There's, there's, there's whores on Thought the But he said, I'm trying bottom. to pronounce the eight. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? The eight. <laughs> right, there's an eight. There's also an eight on the label. <laughs> So, there's an actual wood carving from Sherry Carter. Okay. Who's the wife. All right. She carves. She likes She's Sherry a wood wants. carver on the side. <laughs> on the side. It's a little side gig she got side going gig. on. She's a whore. Whore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to guess that old Carter's not going to send us any bottles. Probably not. Unless he hates his wife. <laughs> so, that's the label. The wood carving that of it escalated quickly. Wow! <laughs> what, what just happened? <laughs> He's pronunciating. Uh, yeah, I'll go find something for her here. I think you should just go uh, neat, man. Well, I want some of this. Oh yeah. Well, I have uh, right there. You wanted it? Is that the Sazerac? Yeah. It is the Sazerac, but I'm not gonna put it in diet. It's the Tesserac. Oh no. I get. I like this I have a Glenn, lot. Glenn Cairns, right? Yeah, there too. I like it I a, like lot, this a lot. A lot. It's different. So let's talk about it. I know I was. Uh, we got sidetracked. Yeah, I was getting <laughs> off on some tangents there. I mean, like right oh. when I took a sip, it was just like an explosion of all sorts of things. Easy now, Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm throwing you an alley oop there. I, know. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, I need to get it in at least once per podcast. I get a lot of chocolate. That might sound crazy, but that's... I get chocolate. Chocolate's one um, thing that I have a hard time getting out of my bourbons, and I, it's probably just because my taste buds for that are just... I, I get a lot of it. A lot I, of what? I see that. For sure. For me, I don't see it, I, I it probably it. translates to me as creaminess. Okay. I can see it's that. It's creamy. I, and I love this mouthfeel. The it, mouthfeel it, is spectacular. It's, it's, it's buttery for days. Yeah. I mean, lather me up. Lather me up. Yeah. Throw me in the pen. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> stick stick a stock of parsley uh, in my armpit. I don't know what I walked into. <laughs> But you like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did you just say parsley on your armpit? Yeah, because he's saying butter me up, throw me in the pen. I'm like, and then put a stalk of parsley in his armpit. <laughs> it just makes sense. Yeah, that's, that's logical. Yeah. Really logical. Man, that's good. There's a lot going wow. on. I'm having a hard time. It is definitely, I, I mean, it's definitely one where uh, I'm going to have to have it again. I, you I, don't say. I get, I get, I, I want to say it's maple, but because uh, I think that's a sweetness I'm getting from this. I'm getting a good amount of sweetness from all of these, which I'm really enjoying oddly. Um, but it also has a nice spiciness to it. It does. Uh, man. And, and uh, it, it, there's one thing I read on there that I totally agree with. It's, it's begging for another sip. Yeah. Like you just, you get done with it and you're like, I got to try that again, and that I'm is getting so accurate. Yeah, and I'm getting a little more out of every sip that I have. It, it's one of those things where I, I can't place it. So, like you said, you take another sip. What do I taste? What do I taste it? Something else. Something else. Mm -hmm. I'm having. How I, do you? I really uh, encourage to do the Kentucky Chew on this one because normally when you do the Kentucky Chew with most bourbons, not all. Most, you get a lot of burn on the side of your mouths, gums. Now, some of that might have to do with normal age gingivitis. You know, I'm, I'm dealing with a lot of different things in my mouth. <laughs> but in the case of this Kentucky Chew, I mean, I am getting zero burn out of this. It's it's definitely nowhere near the amount of burn you yeah, typically get. I mean, it's 106 proof. Yeah, man, that's fucking. Good. I just read the palate. And at the end, it says creme brulee. Yeah, yeah. I was going to mention that. That's kind of spot right on. Right there. 
toasted sugar yeah. on the creme brulee. That's perfect. Right. That's yeah. Spot on. And uh, very little alcohol burn. I totally agree with that. Mm -hmm. The nose is quite beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I, I, not parsley with under your armpits. <laughs> That's Dave's gig. <laughs> <laughs> I just like to be lathered in butter. <laughs> Browned, browned to a crisp. So, to anybody out there, <laughs> if you want to make your way to his heart, show up with six sticks of butter there might and be some a, parsley. I think there might be a site for that, Dave. <laughs> a fetish site? Yeah. Uh, this is one I do not want to add water to. I, I didn't, and I won't, and I don't care what you think about it. <laughs> I think we all agree with that decision. I think you're good. Boy, I just want to have some more, but I know I I know we got to move on. I don't I don't want to add water to, but I'm probably going to just right, to right. see if it brings something else out. Now, when I, I have my I probably should. I'll add a little yeah, more. Should. Yeah. That's irresponsible. Yeah. Now when I have my second glass, I'm not going to add water to it. Well, uh I don't believe I said that anyone could have a second. <laughs> I looked at you after I said with my eyes real big. <laughs> can, I, can I have a second glass? <laughs> but, it's, but it's so good. It is, come on. It is, I don't, 170s, that's, that's steep. Steep. It's a lot. Yeah. Is it worth it? We'll see. Well, it seems like, it's, it, <laughs> seems it, like it says, as for the price tag, 200 isn't going to be for everyone, and that's okay. So it looks like you might have got a deal. Yeah. And I gotta, I gotta think they they they're having a little trouble moving it off the shelves. But when there's only yeah. sixteen hundred bottles, yeah, the water you should add water. It definitely. Well, uh, as soon as Brady lets go of the damn ecstasy bottle that he's, he's bondling, he really is. He, I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening here. <laughs> okay, you're gonna have a fifty fifty over there. <laughs> Oh my god! I, I, oh man! I hate to say it, but I kind of like it with the water. As bad as that sounds, I know that's sacrilege, but well, and it's not like you put no, a I lot of water it in it, right? No, I mean, it was two drops. Yeah, I like water. <laughs> Good for you, Gatorade. <laughs> I have to say, it caught my eye in the top right corner of the screen. There is a pair of socks with yeah. 2020 sucks, and it's uh, the numbers go into a middle finger. <laughs> those are those are that's great. That's really impressive. Yeah. Actually. I actually, I actually want that on a shirt. Yeah, and it's got to be on a shirt. Whoever came up with that it is a genius. Genius. I've been looking at those. What did for, you do? For probably a Myth. half hour. I missed. Yeah. And I, I just realized that it's the year. That's flat out missed. Yet. So Manny, um, I've done that. Man. I don't disagree. The water actually brought out um, more, dare I say, not maybe chocolate. How, how about cocoa? That's, How's that, how's that sound? Thinking that, yeah. I thinking it isn't actually the the right term because I was sitting there like, hmm, what am I getting now that I added the water? And then as soon as you said it, I was like, that's it. All right. And the next uh, Pam doesn't even know this, but the next cat we get. Name is going to be Coco. No, Why? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, you and I both know that that is just not true. Why Coco? Um, she, she will meet the cat and then be like, well, "There's no way we can't have this cat." <laughs> I've just always wanted to say, "Come on, fucking Coco." <laughs> it's a weird, weird thing to have always wanted. <laughs> what? I'm on board. <laughs> When you guys get this cat, that's get like, off me, Coco. <laughs> <laughs> when you guys get this cat, that's going to be the first thing I say when I walk in the door. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking go on, get, go on, get, Coco. <laughs> <laughs> oh my this is god! Delicious. <laughs> it's hard to move on to the next. I have uh, high hopes for yeah, the next. Yeah, I'm excited for this bottle of vinegar here. Is, yeah, it looks like nice. if you go to an Italian restaurant and what they pour into your little dish to dip the butter in, or butter the, the bread in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the yes. olive oil or whatever. That's what, yeah. it, that's what that reminds me of. Yeah. That's what it looks like. 
My dad told me, be careful about this when it sneaks up on you. Well, he's, uh, as, as I told him that, that night, that <laughs> oh, day, I said, uh, you know, this is a considered a big boy bourbon. And so later in the day, now, I didn't really have much. But he really liked it. He had a couple. I, I just tasted it because I knew. I, I can't remember where we were going, but we were going to dinner or something. And later on that night, he ta- he texted me, that was a big boy bourbon, and I am a child. <laughs> <laughs> I want that text framed and put on the wall. <laughs> <Yes>. Fantastic. <laughs> Actually, uh, that's a good idea, Dave. I think you should actually do that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, if you, I, I would really love it if you screenshotted that, and I would, I want to put that. Uh, on. I'm gonna do it right now, <laughs> so it will live in infamy. I'm gonna put it on one of these walls. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Perfect. <clears throat> All right, are we gonna are we Man, gonna do it? Are we gonna move on? Yeah. And here it is, word for word. No, I sent him. He wanted to know the name of it again. Yeah. So this is at Sunday, last Sunday at 5.20 p.m., Noah's Mill. And his response was, that is definitely a big boy bourbon, and I am a child. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's amazing. <laughs> he called me. He's like, you got you to gotta try this. He goes, it's good. It's so good. He goes, it doesn't even taste like alcohol. It doesn't burn at all. It's got to be awesome when your when your dad calls you to tell you to like you got to try this. He whiskey. can't drink bourbon. He hates bourbon. Really? He's not a bourbon guy. What does he drink? Uh, but he's like one of those um, closet bourbon drinkers. If you pull out a good bottle, he's like yeah. Charlie. You pull out a good bottle, he'll yeah. drink it. Yeah, he will. What does he typically drink? Crown Royal, Apple. No. No, he he's got some Vodka. good bourbons. Uh, he, he's like Jameson. <laughs> you guys were like, uh, and Jacob's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jake, Jake's like, yeah, that's that's what he drinks. We have a decent collection now at uh at the the home Casa de yeah. Manfresca. I, I can't call it home anymore, but they have it's a decent your home. It, I don't know. They're they're they, <laughs> they're Actually, putting that the basement out. in for you. <laughs> Yeah, that's during COVID. They, my dad wore a mask around me all day. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Manny, you're dirty. <laughs> I called him. Uh, Manny's dad was kind enough to drive us over tonight, and when I got in the car, I was like, do I need to have a mask Ooh. on? He's like, oh, it's up to you. He's like, I wear it because of Manny. I was like, oh, yeah, he is a cesspool. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of diseases inside what of him. What is that? Wow. that's the, We just... Thanks, guys. I know. <laughs> Thanks. Is that Just orange? when you think you've, you've been built up. I thought we, we, we crossed back. this bridge already. <laughs> Tear it back down. Is that orange and vanilla? Orange, vanilla, cinnamon. Yeah. This is the Cherry. best. This is the best, the best nose. nose. By far. Most distinctive. Yeah. All right. By All lemon. right. Blackberry. Easy <laughs> now. So wait, wait till you smell it. I mean, oh, I, I'm kidding. not even putting it up to my nose. <laughs> I, and I, it yeah. is wafting. Me and Manny immediately looked at each other like, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen um, bourbon in a bottle like this before. This is literally like a wine bottle. Yeah. Uh, there there are others. Oh, that old baker's there bottle. There are others, yeah. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah. Boy, it's, it, isn't it? Is the it's nose is crazy. <laughs> crazy in love. <laughs> <laughs> At least it wasn't a Spice Girl song. <laughs> That nose is oh, one I just want to. I like. I, I'm, this is a great nose. Yeah, I, like yeah, I don't want to taste nose. it yet because I'm afraid it is a it's sexy not, nose. That's a good way to put it. That's a great way to put it. It's sexy as fuck. I don't want to. I'm afraid to taste it. I am too. Because I'm like, man, I want. But I've had it. Yeah, but if that nose, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we could, <laughs> but not out of Glen Cairn. Yeah, yeah. But if that if that taste doesn't match up to the nose, I'm gonna be sad. I know. Do you, we it, we've had that happen. It. Woodford. Yes. Yep. Is it we crazy? We could just pour it right into the salad bowl. Make it better for Manny and I later. Yeah. All right. Hey, I'd like to get some chunks in we'll there. We'll just first, take the Ocean's ahead. 22 and just pour it all in there. I say cake. Do you get a uh, cake smell? Okay. I don't yeah. know if that's a technical yeah. term, but it is. I, I've, I've seen I, it. Yep. Yeah. I've seen it on there. Are I'd we talking now? Are we talking birthday cake, or just <laughs> cake in general? Like, the, a like, a, like a sweet uh, frosting. We're yeah. talking 
Brady's cake yesterday. All right. So birthday cake. Okay. Why were you sniffing his cake? I, I said it. I knew it <laughs> sounded yeah. rough. I was hoping no one would take uh, it that uh, way. Uh, I have cake every day. where I was. <laughs> I have cake every day. That's all I got uh, is cake. I'd say it I'm smells logical. I'm uncomfortable with all the cake talk. <laughs> <laughs> it's too much cake talk. Why are they talking about cake? They're drinking bourbon. Hmm. Is that uh, Jim Gaffigan? Yeah, the last part was. That's pretty good. Yeah. It's, it's interesting. The, that's the sweetness you get on the nose is exactly the sweetness you get on the palate. It doesn't start that way, but it finishes that way. Cinnamon is definitely there. It is cinnamon. Oh, a lot and of here's, cinnamon. Yeah. And, and, and now I remember it very well. And it it wasn't that long. A lot ago. of spices. I'm sorry. A lot of spices are starting to come through. Yeah, it was about a week ago Lingers that I had too. it. Love it. Liked it a lot then. But do you not get like a, just a hint? Or not a hint, but more like there's a floralness to it, a little a yeah. flowerness to it. Florality, florality. <laughs> Look at you! Wow. Did you it, make that up? I don't think it's a word. <laughs> <laughs> Rhymes with plurality, <laughs> and I'm pronunciating. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I think, uh, I think what what you're describing is floral. For me, right. is what this what it says all spice because. After it lingered the for a linger, while, yes. That's after exactly it lingered for a while, I was say. like, "Man, I feel like I'm getting like a ton of different like you get cabinet more spices." Flavor. Yes, yeah. as it as it says, the, the finish is just overwhelming. With it, just keeps everything. growing, and that could be the cake too, because you could you you could also say baking spices, right? Yeah, man, that what's the what's the MSRP on that? Sixty four. Why am I talking like this? <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> It says sixty. I, I paid seventy for it. Man, I think I, I don't think you're gonna find it for less than seventy. Yeah, I got because it for sixty four ninety nine. You little bitch. But it's for my dad. So shh, it's a Christmas gift. I will also. He won't listen to this. No. So, and if I he will, does, beep it out, just beep this whole part out. I will also <laughs> take one of those. I just or, I already ordered. Oh, it. you ordered it. I thought yeah. you had got it in Cleveland. No, you, so you listen, can't get this no. in Ohio. So, uh, dude Kessler, who who. Uh, his bottle was originally how I had it, and he said that his understanding was that you can only get it in Kentucky, or you can order it online. Right. Man, it's, but good luck finding it online. But yeah. obviously, Manny did and found it for less than a friend of mine found it for in Kentucky. Yeah, well, Kentucky is not great for pricing, no, honestly, no. and it shouldn't be. It got you by the cojones. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. man. All I have in my in this life is my word and my boss. And my boss. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't, Pam. I haven't said it in a while, so I, I couldn't remember the exact. I literally just said it to John tonight at work. <laughs> I will say these last two are are two that I feel like you need to drink multiple times to actually get everything that they put out there, there's this just is, so much going on with these last two that yeah. we had man mm. this uh this one is really blown my socks off i get so many layers of flavors on it it's crazy it's insane this is like a complex wine yeah which by the way i had camus for the first time last night oh uh and at first, I didn't really like it because it's it's a cab, so it's supposed to be dry, you know? And, and it's, it's not. Sweet. And it's not. It's very sweet. Yeah. But what I, I noticed is as I was sitting there drinking it, my mouth started to then get the dryness. The f- right. Because is, there is dryness there. It's sweet, yeah. dry, let's call it. Yeah. But it, it, the vanilla can overpower you. It is so much vanilla. Oh, yeah. I, it's like As soon as I smelled it, I was like, well, that's just vanilla. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, but that's their trademark. Yeah. Camus' is trademark. I ended up liking it. At first, I was really thrown off, but I ended up liking it. Yeah. And uh, it's it's an easy drinker. Right. Expensive. Brady, uh, come on. Get your two cents in here. Uh, with that last taste I just had, I, I think I tasted some nuts. I don't know if you guys... Uh, no, there's definitely... Well. These nuts? Dev nuts. 
<laughs> no, just uh, nuts in general, Manny. There, there are nuts in there. There's a nuttiness in there. I'm not sure. Uh. I'm, okay. I'm sorry. I, I almost choked on the bourbon. I saw him building up to that as soon as he yeah, saw I, it. As soon as he said it, he was. I, I, I've given I, you guys uh, <laughs> multiple opportunities to say something really funny. I, I, I could see you. I, I could see Manny. He's either cool. going finger roll, waiting for it to be swatted, <laughs> or he's throwing the slow balls. I could, softball pitch. I could see Manny out of the corner of my eye, and I about spit <laughs> bourbon everywhere. <laughs> I mean, you did. You said it perfectly. Said yeah, I get yeah, a lot of nuts. <laughs> <sighs> I need to go to church tomorrow. Oh boy. Yeah. No. This, no. Yeah. This is church. I don't know if they want you there, man. <laughs> <laughs> you filthy animal. Uh. Don't say it. Don't say it. Mm -hmm. Planet of the Apes. Charlton Heston. Well, what I know from Home Alone. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, and, and, and I'm older than you, so now I'm getting to Not it. by a lot, right? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, a lot. <laughs> 17 years. <laughs> He was like, no, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm old as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I really, it doesn't feel but, like you're but, that much older than me. I don't know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> um, the original line, what that's from, is from Planet of the Apes, Charlton Heston, 1970. Gangster movie. No. I, Planet of the Apes? Oh, that's why I thought it was going to be weird, because I do know the Planet of the Apes. I thought maybe there was a gangster movie called that, because when he when he plays the movie on Home Alone, it's a gangster movie. Yeah. And he's shooting up. I know. Yeah. You so they, but where Alone. they got that line from, the okay. original movie they got that line from, was the original Planet of the Apes, Charlton Heston, who was in Ten Commandments. Uh, a lot, you know, a lot of stuff. Charles Hall of Fame. Yeah. yeah. So he gets caught by the apes. And they are, like, corralling him into a cage. And, of course, these are apes, right? And they're talking, and everything's backwards, 180 degrees. And at some point, he says to, because at this point, they haven't seen a white person or a human, period, that can speak. And they, they go to grab him, and he says, take your hands off me, you filthy animal. And they're uh. all just like, he speaks. They speak. They can speak, <laughs> and they it just blew their minds. Do you remember that, Pam? Yes. I need to go back to that one. Should I have not told that on the uh, podcast? No, I think that maybe was maybe a bad I mean, maybe a bad was, idea. That, that was, was way more appropriate than. It's just I was waiting for a nice build up. Right. Oh, you're and then you're questioning whether or not that should have been on the air with all the other <laughs> shit we say. <laughs> you, you said rape ten minutes ago. <laughs> all right. <laughs> The Easy now. <laughs> yeah. I thought the context was correct. <laughs> we I mean, pretty much I, always talked about rape when we talk about uh, Jefferson's Jefferson, other side. Right. <laughs> because we know damn well it's going on. The pirates. Yeah, pirate <laughs> rape. <laughs> it's Jefferson Ocean's dirty little <laughs> secret. <laughs> well, and they're no longer going to like our stuff. Right. <laughs> uh, no, we, no, uh, Trey, wait, Trey actually, likes us, I think. I think so. <laughs> he, gets, so he gets a kick out of it. Yeah. So Jefferson's old Carter... We're not getting sponsored by them. Yeah, let's just, let's just no. Set. I think we still have a fighting chance with Jefferson. Hey, I agree. Old I Carter. That that's gonna be a, that's oh, gonna be a tough yeah, sell. You, yeah, you really disrespected <laughs> some people. Yeah, yeah it's gonna be Carter. a tough sell. It's gonna be a tough sell when you're calling Sherry Carter a whore. That's that's gonna be a tough sell. It's gonna be a tough sell. <laughs> Wait, I'll tell you what. This is an interesting. I mean, we've been good for like a lot of it, and then we'll go off for like a five minute. Rant, yeah. and yeah. we just, just go like, off the deep end. Yeah. Then we bring it just back, blowing up bridges, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and then building them back up. <laughs> and then building them back up. I'm sure your wife's a nice lady <laughs> for a whore. <laughs> Jesus, uh, Maria and Joseph. <laughs> Jesus, Mary and Joseph. <laughs> Jesus, Maria, and Jose. <laughs> what are you looking at me for? 
All right. Okay. Are we ready for some rankings? Oh. No, we're not, because I'm going to pee. <laughs> uh, wait, wait. We, we don't need an elaborate... <laughs> Like, oh, I, I have to go shave ghosts I have to. real quick. <laughs> <laughs> she, wait, it's her it's her 10 o'clock shaving. I was going to say, I got to go wash the beard oil out of my face because it's messing with my smell. <laughs> oh, I'm curious to see everybody's rankings with this. I think we're all going to be very, very similar. But I have no idea. They're... I think there's going to be. I think there's a distinct. I think half of them that well, we're all. I know which one's last. I know which one's last. Two, two, stand above. I agree. The other four, right? But there's one to be expected. To be expected. There's one of the other four that surprisingly is not far behind. Which, again, I agree. There might be a little, you know, here and there, but I think uh, for the most part, we'll we'll probably be pretty close. I would imagine. I think we're going to interchange a few here and there, but yeah, I'm going to have to try that uh, redwood so again. It, I just poured myself one. A couple uh, podcasts ago, well, the podcast that Pat was on is funny. So Pat brings this uh, bourbon that we weren't planning on having it on, so we kind of put it behind the bottles, and so we decided at the very end, which one you want? I have one of these too. No. No. no? Okay. So uh, we decided at the end, okay, we're gonna we're gonna try it. <laughs> so Dave like hates it. Like, oh, I listened to it. I was yeah. I, and so Tommy, <laughs> the perfect antagonist that he is, puts it number one. <laughs> and then Dave's like, he's like a like a sad little child over here. Like, <laughs> well, I love how Pat prefaces. It's different. Yeah. It's different. You got you to gotta have a couple tr- It's different. It was more angry than sad because yeah. I was for sure everyone in this room was. You were wanting to get a fight. I thought you guys, I for real thought you guys all discussed this beforehand and were fucking with me. I, I really, really did. No. But it is also my favorite part of that podcast. It's so funny when I went back and watched it. Because I, I, I'm not kidding. Like, that was not. When I was losing my shit about you guys fucking with me, I for real thought you guys were all yeah, conspiring I know you to fuck with me. And I was trying to convince you we weren't, and then that made it worse. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, no, no. Yeah. I see what you're doing. <laughs> <sighs> that's definitely the worst bourbon I've ever had. <laughs> Nobody's going to tell me that that's... And the, the best part, too, is they're like, ah, you know, I, th- I think you they're, might be wrong. You no, know, I will say, <laughs> listening to it, it seems like they're... They're trying to root for it. They're, they're rooting for right. it. They're like, eh. I was. I, I. I didn't want Pat uh, more than anything. I. I just. I didn't want him to feel bad about oh, he bringing doesn't. it. He doesn't care. Yeah. No, I don't think he cared at all. And I told. I'm still f- extremely glad he brought it. Like my reaction alone. If I don't care if it would have been his reaction or your reaction, but that reaction alone is worth the fact of the bottle being there. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's. That's what we do here. We're here to see what oh, our reactions are to these bourbons. That's the point of it. And when something is so drastic, whether it's good or bad, it's entertainment. Yep. There's no doubt. Which, by the way, Actually, um, this too. we, Dave and I, did not plan us both wearing these shirts. Now, I know on the oh, surface. I mean, but I we, feel but like we have out the of place. exact one on. <laughs> yeah. I know on the surface, you guys are probably like, oh, they were Oh, texting. here's the worst part. They were gay texting each other all day long. I almost <laughs> wore the gray one We today. do that with oh, bourbon, not that, shirts. That, that, that would have been, been bad nice, if I wore the gray man. one and you guys both wore the black ones. But I, yeah, this wasn't on purpose, but the shirt is fitting. Right. right. What does it say? Drink like a champion today. Uh, yeah. Well, that is very fitting because that is exactly what we do on <laughs> Bastards of Bourbon. Drink like champions every day. Uh, if you would have uh, worn the gray one, though, Manny, we would have had to have had an orgy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just didn't see it going that. that, that, that I almost died. <laughs> and that's not what I, I pictured. Just, but <laughs> That went from first base to home plate like in a if, second. If it's okay with you guys, I would actually rather drink the bowl. <laughs> I just no matter like hearing reactions like that, I I like it. Oh no, it was good. I tell your joke all the time. I yeah. actually told it at the uh, wine bar last night. Chickpea. Nice. Yep. Nice. Yeah. It's, the be- it's the easiest best I, so, joke there is. It is. Uh, last time I told it, the uh, couple of people I was telling it to uh, didn't think it was a joke. They were like, "Wait, has it?" Has that happened to you? 
I was like, <laughs> why are you it's selling them? <laughs> it, well, I gotta I tell like, you. No, but uh, regardless, it's a joke. Yeah, well, and I gotta tell you, matter. when I told her to Valley Wine, we were all pretty drunk, and it, it went into some weird places afterwards. Yeah, it can, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a good icebreaker. <laughs> yeah, people, people were like, "Ah, oh, you'd love it if I peed on you," and I'm like, oh, "What's happening?" <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to the rankings. This, we're going way <laughs> south quickly. Uh, and if you don't know the joke, then go back and watch the previous episodes because we're not fucking doing it again. <laughs> All right. So I thought he I, was, am... I thought he was going to go right into the joke. I really did. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Nope. I, I, you've heard me tell it. I've always, I, I did give Brady credit when I did tell it yes. uh, on the podcast. Oh, I very much announced it after I said it last night because things got weird. Yeah. I was like, that's a Brady joke. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> And now people are like, like, would you just tell the damn joke? I don't know, but stop caressing the arm of this thing. Well, it, it was a little dusty. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. I'm having right. way too much fun. <laughs> All right, so who are we starting with today? All right. Um, Manny. All right. I think... Which, by the way, I'm going to have a little more old Carter why we do these. Okay, I just want to make sure. I think all of ours are going to be pretty similar to... To an extent. Um, are we doing... All right, yeah. Okay, so... Start with one. My favorite... Fuck. Which I think might... Sorry. I'm sorry, real quick. Did you go back to this? I did not. Go. I, I might... All right. That's the side I didn't drink from. Taste that real quick. My number one is... Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, I, it's tough. I really want to. The top three or top. I for really want to just throw a wild card in there, but that wild. I think I know what you're talking about because the top I, three I, I, are is tough tempting. For me. But I really like the old Carter. Old remember Carter was my number is. one. Yeah, there was just God, that good? something about the old Carter that I just wanted to keep drinking it. I don't know if it's because I couldn't pick out distinct flavor. There's just so much going on. It for sure is. Something I will I say it begs drink. for another sip. For th- the price point, the I would I would have a bottle on the shelf. It's it's high, in my opinion. Ah, it's. I, Here's my question: If you're saying that, how do you feel about that compared to Stag Junior? Stag Junior blows it out of the water, in my opinion. Oh Jesus! Stag Junior was candy. God damn. Okay. Yeah. I'm not saying uh, hey, you're I right res- or wrong. I respect that. I, yeah. I haven't had it, so I can't. And we're talking Stag Junior's Stag 130. Junior. Oh. oh, no. Stag, Stag, oh, Stag, Stag, oh, Stag, Stag Junior? Yes. Oh, okay, no, no, no. Never mind. I thought we were talking about Stag. No, Stag, Stag Junior. Junior. Bam. Next. Oh, they're close. And we'll pay 150 170 for Stag Junior, no problem. <laughs> mm, that, now that you say that, that's a that's a. That's why I'm saying that's, that's why I brought it up, because... I have no issue paying 150 to I would, 170 I, I would th- for Stag I would Junior. I'd rather have this than Stag Junior, I think. So then you're willing to pay the 170. I, after having Stag, like I said, Stag ruined me. And I'm that feeling, regular I'm, Stag, it, yeah. and I'm feeling like this now might not be. This might actually be a really good price for it. But this is not. This is not my ranking. It's yours. Yeah. Well, so Old Carter, my number one. I like the horse, whatever the hell it is on the front. I mean, likes the it's a wooden horse. 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 He likes a wooden horse. horse. He likes the a horse. <laughs> Don't forget, she's a nice I lady. I was pronunciating. Uh, my number two, I really wanted to throw a wild card in here, but I can't. The nose, nose mill was solid. I will be honest, I'm not as high on it as you guys were. Okay. Oh, really? I guess... I, for the price point, it's uh, it's very solid, very good for, for the that price, price point. That's ridiculous, in my opinion. It's uh, it was good. I don't know. I can't. The, I'm having. A, I don't know if it's just me today, but I'm having a hard time to like actually get distinct <clears throat> flavors out of anything we drank today. <laughs> there was two that I really that hit me, and it, it was the yes, yes, Empire Redwood, and actually the Old Carter. Those were the two that. The only two I got to stink, like, could really register to stink flavors from was the Redwood and the Noah Mill. So I I might be crazy, but those are the two. And then close third, 
I mean, I, I was very tempted to throw Empire Redwood way up there. Mm-hmm. For forty-four dollars, buy it, buy it, buy it, buy you gotta, it. You got to factor it in. I mean, that's I huge. mean, that's a it massive, is fantastic yeah. for that, the price. That yeah, I even went the, back and tried it, and it was so did I. It's why I made him do it because, yeah. it, like, when you go back and you remember, like, even after all those ones we just had, and you went back to it, you still picked it up. You so, still picked up those delicious get a case. flavors. When you go back, get a case. Get a case. Yeah, get honestly, get, get as much of it as you fucking I'll, can. I'll take. We'll get that. I'll take three or four. And I mean, we'll literally. Pam, Pam's gonna love it. She hasn't even tried it yet. I'll be honest. I'll put She's this above a it. lot of stuff. I mean, in a general, lot of uh, not stuff. even just this podcast. In general, the things I, I have. To me, this is the most impressive pi- price point I have seen in and a And that while. was the one that I had the least optimism for. Yeah. I was just like, eh, we'll see how this goes. Right. But that was... We, we weren't even sure we were going to put it in the lineup. Phenomenal. That's yeah. the best price point I've seen in a long time. Yeah. Phenomenal. That, um, drink, that drink's like an $80 bourbon. Right. It, I agree. It, and I'll tell you what, uh, one that we've done before, and, and, I'll, and it's completely different. I'm not comparing the two, but price point wise. Sazerac rye. Yes. That's same. Yes. I mean, that's a $27 bottle of rye that drinks like uh, better than 50 or 60, $70 Agreed. bottles. It's a great comparison. Yeah, I agree. It's got a long neck, too. Look at that neck. <laughs> <laughs> that's the giraffe of uh, rye whiskey. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he looks at the camera but like, that's huh? To your point, yeah. this Redwood stands up against <clears throat> this old Carter, which is three times the amount. Mm-hmm. And easily to this Noah's. Milk. I mean, I had a really. I almost wanted to put it number, number one. two. Oh, no, I thought one two. I mean, I was. Yeah. So you didn't put it two. I mean, this is. He put it three. Okay, I put it so three. you got Noah's you got two. Carter Noah's. All right. Yeah. It's like a. I I know you don't do one one A one B one, but uh, you can do that. But that's, that's kind of. You just no. don't let Tommy yeah. and Jeff do it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, continuing down the line, my my uh, number four was the Remus. I, I real quick back to the Redwood just for a second because I want to say as soon as you said you might really throw something out there, I knew exactly what you were talking about because I had the same notion in my head. Sorry, I had to throw that out there though. It's solid. Yeah. Uh, the my number four was Remus. It was it was good. I don't know if it's worth ninety dollars. Ninety but, dollars is a little rough. You know, it's nice to have on the shelf. Yes, and it it it, it it's it a was, shelf lover. It was the second second time I had it. It got better, so I'm hoping if I drink it again, it'll improve. Yeah, and um, I, I gotta say, it's one of the bottles that it's, to me, it's definitely worth a first time purchase. It's right. whether or not you're gonna pay the ninety the second, just time. for the story yeah. and just kind of where right. it comes from. This the, the, the distillery. Mm-hmm. Um, my fifth is the Uncle Nearest. I'll be honest, I, I'm not a huge fan. It's okay. Yeah. It just it's it's a run of the mill. I, I think I'd rather have just Jefferson's reserve for the price point. Yeah. Something like that. I mean it's just Well, I was gonna say you have to like that price point better than the Rebus price point. Oh I yes. Yeah. Yes. I, I it just it didn't do anything. Mm-hmm. It didn't one way or the yep. other, it didn't sway me. It was just Yep. As you guys would say, meh. Yeah. Meh. meh. And the last one, this is damn near Yellowstone. The the Ocean's 22 was horrendous. <laughs> I'm sorry, Trey. Oh, my God. $90 for that piece of shit? Oh. <laughs> we are off the Christmas Talk lift. No, it tastes like lift. garbage. I know you lift. guys don't like it, but I'm going to be lift. honest. I think everybody felt the same way. Very underwhelming. Very, very underwhelming. Just, I don't, it didn't even taste like anything. It was like water. I don't think it's. <laughs> I do like water. I, I'll get. I'll, I'll go. I'll dive into it all by it instead yeah. of diving into it now. But I, I, yeah. the price point Same. is the real killer there, right? Yeah. All right, Brady. all right, B dog. All right. Well, uh, he's been twenty three for one day in twelve hours. Better come out like the great. Yeah. Three hour nap. So, <laughs> three was, heavy Sicilian not... pieces of pizza. <laughs> it was a one hour nap. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> but I did wake up and I thought it was five in the morning. <laughs> I missed the podcast. It's a good nap. I'll tell you yeah. what. Sounds like a small those. coma. Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, I woke up and I couldn't really move. Uh, my left arm was completely dead. It was behind my head. How were you sleeping? 
like, yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't move my arm for about two minutes. <laughs> so number one, I think, is Old Carter. Okay, number one, Old Carter. Even though, uh, even though Miss Carter's a, she gets around a little bit, but. <laughs> Yeah, they uh, hate but, us. <laughs> but that doesn't matter. That, that, like, that doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm not here to judge people. If anything, that the makes it more... bourbon tastes good, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> you made the point. Maybe her husband doesn't like her. So. Yeah, yeah. We, he could actually love us. <laughs> like, somebody finally said it. <laughs> Been thinking it for God. years. Send, the, send them seven cases. <laughs> Seriously, though, we would like some cases. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I I um, had a little bit of the redwood again because I was trying to decide between that and Noah's Mill for number two, and I think I got to put uh, the uh, bottle of olive oil for number two, Noah's Mill. Yeah. It's a good, um, it's a good so it's going to be very similar to Manny's list, unfortunately. Uh, Why is that unfortunate? I think we're really like coming down to the point where like he to actually doesn't difference. like you. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what. <laughs> just hangs out with you because he knows you and you're in Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> I give him good bourbon. Leave me alone. I know. I would, really good take bourbon. Take advantage of me too. Listen, hey, I'm not saying that's my... I don't, hate, I don't try to hang out with people. Would. Like, that's a waste of time. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. but uh, So you went with the Noah Mill for number two. Yep. Yeah. I liked it a lot. Um, three is going to be the Redwood. Uh I mean that's the cheapest one here, right? Uh, it By is far. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, it's not even well. I mean, that's, well, six dollars, six dollars, twenty dollars. Okay. No, okay. 11, six dollars for the nearest. Forty-four, fifty-five. Oh, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's how much he liked nearest. He just no, forgot I about thought, it. I thought the red one, uh, the uh, redwood, was extremely smooth. I thought it had uh, borderline the best mouth feel. Um, Old Carter is the best, I think, by a decent amount that we had here. I wouldn't buy it personally because good thing I'm not your dad's here. Spend, yeah. I mean, once it gets over a hundred dollars, I'm like, uh, like I could just get, I could get 10 bottles of benchmark for that. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I've never seen anybody look more disappointed yeah. in their entire life. He was disappointed. <laughs> and I was like, you know, I like this kid. That was a joke. <laughs> I mean, not a hundred percent a joke, but a little bit of. He's joke. basically. I, I feel like he's placating to you. I, basically, what I think he's trying to do is trying to get us to scrap in the front right, yard. Right, right, <laughs> right. He, there's always a, 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 a some ulterior motive I, here. It's like yeah, I want to see a I squabble. Have, yeah. I think of a lot of different motives. Squibble. I mean, squabble. <laughs> a lot of different motives. <laughs> I got a lot of things it's running fine. through my head. It's fine. It's fine. Go yeah, ahead. He's, he, we got to watch out for him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Too smart for watch. us. Uh. <laughs> All right. So, so four and five are very, very close. But I think I'm going to go uh, Uncle Nearest for number four. Uh, partially because of the story. Um, it's a great story. It's an amazing story. Yeah. But, yeah. I th so, I kind of liked... Remus, maybe a little bit more, but I, I've gone wait, back wait. and forth. I probably gotta try them both again. But uh, the fact that uh, Uncle Nearest is a, a lot cheaper, I think that was a deal breaker for me. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So then, yeah, Remus number five, Ocean number six. Okay. Yeah. All right. Trash. Jeez, uh, just, uh, Dave. I feel like I feel like it's your turn to go next. Oh yeah, I, I mean, I you know I can't remember. From, I can't remember, and yeah. I'm okay, and I'm plenty okay with yeah. going next. Now, hey, listen, I need some time because I'm still working it out. Let, uh, well, I'm working it out. I'll man. be honest. There was there was a very big fight for me for the top three. Yeah, and I'm actually going to differ a little bit. Um, actually, truthfully, the Noah Mills to me was actually like uh it was my favorite on the table and i i'm not even positive that it was that close like it was to me as soon as i smelled that i was like holy shit then the palate matched the nose yeah 
And uh, I, I literally have here Noah Mills' wow nose, wow taste. Um, it's complex. To me, it's like when I tried Granger, and that made me understand how things can be complex. Yeah. The, the, which is a Shiraz wine I should throw out there. It's like $750 a bottle. When I first tried that, I was like, I understand what complex and depth means now. Yeah. That's kind of how I felt about Noah Mills. Layers. You there's get, layers there's to layers, it. There's layers, layers. It's and, a, it, and I don't disagree. And there's nothing, I mean, there's nothing wrong with what you're saying. Yeah. I, I, it just, it really took me by surprise. And I have to, I said that, I don't agree with it. No, <laughs> Sorry. And I said, I said that this was one of the best price points I've seen in a long time. I actually have to also say that Noah Mills, even though it's at 70, it's is also price. one of the best price points and, I've and seen in a long it. time. Six, if you can find it. 60, 64 I think that's what it was. Yeah, I'll look up the exact price. But bro. that. That price point is phenomenal. That definitely I wish drinks. I would have told Brian to buy. He said they had like four or five there. I should have just said, yeah, scoop them all up. Yeah, I, I got guys that'll buy them. And if he does, if he goes back again, please get as much of it as you can. Because yeah. if even if it's not just me and you that keep them, we know plenty of people. I always tell anybody, if you find something great, buy six bottles of it because we'll be able to give them to somebody. Somebody's yeah. going to buy them. And the presentation of this bottle. Be it simple. I love it. Yeah, I actually love the label. Brady calls it the it olive yeah. oil. Yeah, no, um, because it that, does. It That's does. what it looks That's like. Exactly what it is. Yeah. Say that it's even got an olive oil cap on it. That's yeah. an olive oil cap. But it was the only one. Uh, it was one of one of two that I really could pick up a lot of distinctness from. I got vanilla. I got orange on it it was it's just it's phenomenal i i can't say enough about it i think it's amazing now this is the one where it was actually really a tight race for me and it was a little surprising uh and i did end up putting old carter as number two uh and i just have listed on here delicious because I, I was having a hard time picking anything distinct from it uh -huh. But the complexity was definitely there. It was a phenomenal mouthfeel. I really, really enjoyed it. I look forward to tasting it more and more. I definitely would pay the one seventy to two hundred for it. I, I would. Yeah. Um. Because if I'm willing to pay that for Stag Junior, I'm putting that up on par with Stag Junior for sure. And not to interrupt you, but uh, very anxious because as we already kind of talked about, I think off air, they have a rye. The I rise, want to try the, try the oh, rise so bad because we we obviously love rise. Yeah. People know that it's it's a little more, but not crazy more. They had it there. I should have had him get both. Yeah. but I didn't know what what the hell I was getting. Yeah, you, you, you yeah, no clue at the time. Yeah, yeah. but uh, you, you uh, to me, you got a deal. You got a you got a great purchase. It's it's phenomenal. Um, the craziest one to me, even though this is getting ranked at number three, I think it might be the winner of the night. Yes. Because at a 44 price point, it drinks like an $80, $100 it's bottle. Yep. Extremely smooth, I thought. <clears throat> extremely smooth. The cherry just fucking warms your mouth. Yep. It's 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 it is phenomenal. It's a great find by you, Manny. Yeah, and you said this is fine. This yes. is this is something that, good. That's that's a listen, great fine. You'll man. you'll be allowed back. <laughs> yeah. I made the cut. <laughs> yeah, and this is the one that, that you did find in Cleveland. Yes, please find I me could, a bottle. Yeah, of this. I, I, yeah, we need more of that. Yeah, that. I mean, this as soon as you get there, you just go in there and just start fucking like fill up a shopping cart, throwing elbows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fill up a shopping cart, and while you're buying it, tell everybody that it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> tell them you're using it for cooking. Right. I'm, <laughs> I'm unclogging drains. <laughs> I'm, ta I'm taking paint off my siding. Cause I'm just <laughs> using this for a video to pour it down. The <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it, 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 it shocked me. And the best part was going back and trying it after we went down the whole line. It was because comparable. It's like, Jesus. Very comparable. Yeah, it's it's really really impressive. Spec it is number three, but tech. to me, it is the winner of the That's, night. It's, it's like we talked. About. I think all the top three are one A, one B, one C. They're all yeah, so good. And I actually had on that one Wild wow, Cherry, um, and then uh, after that, I actually am were you thinking of the late seventies, early eighties band Wild wow, Cherry? I was. <laughs> I, I, see, I knew that one. Play that funky music. <laughs> Music white, white boy. boy. 
<laughs> but uh, then I'm actually in agreement with Brady here. I actually go Uncle Nearest next. Which one do you want here? This one? Yeah, give me a little taste. Just a little nip. Did you try Just this one, nip. Pam? Just a little nipple. And what did you think of it? Yeah. A little nipple. A nipple, yeah. You yeah, went a really nipple. deep in there. <laughs> a nipple. Uh, you know what? No, give me the whole areola. No, just <laughs> <laughs> areola. So, I went Uncle Nearest. Uh, part of it is the story, and I got to tell you, Remus and Nearest could like almost be interchanged, yes. but the price point wins it out. The well, story welcome. wins it out. And uh, those two in particular, I had a really hard time picking anything out. That was even... Harder for me than the old Carter, and neither of them were anywhere close to the level of old Carter. So, nearest just that's how it played out for me. Those middle three, they it was just yeah. a blur. You couldn't really pick any distinct flavors yeah. out. It was yeah, none of them were bad. They weren't like, bad. I didn't yeah, neither of them were bad at all. Yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah, so nearest that story about him basically helping Jack Daniels start his company is a phenomenal, unbelievable. Coming from a, a slave to basically, I mean, he honestly, let's it. be honest, he probably got fucking robbed. Imagine what yeah, his money would have been if he was uh, actually involved in Jack Daniels. Robbed, raped. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, wait a second. Here I'm we just. Go. Here we go. <laughs> no, no uh, it sounds like Uncle Nearest is like uh, one of the founding fathers of bourbon almost like yeah right well at least of tennessee whiskey which is technically bourbon i know people love to have that argument but it meets every criteria for bourbon people are like oh but charcoal finish as long as it's aged as long right right but the the master is still it is jack daniels is well tennessee whiskey it has to be aged as long i get three years is this yeah (laughs) <laughs> but even the dis- master distiller of Jack Daniels has been recorded saying on video it is actually technically a bourbon. Jack Daniels went through a legal battle to not have it called that because they wanted to be separate. Yeah, right. Makes sense. I mean, it's. It, I mean, it's. They've always been sour mash whiskey. Yeah, sour yeah. mash whiskey. Tennessee whiskey is what they go by. Uh, but so then after that comes the Remus, and I had on there actually chocolate, brown sugar nose, uh, and I, like a sweet and spicy. I, uh, I agree. It hit it hits spicy and then sweet finish. Yeah, uh, and I really enjoyed both of those. The ninety dollar price point on Remus gives me some hesitation, uh, but I do think it is actually worth at least a first time purchase. It's whether or not you decide to go back to that well afterwards. Uh, and then after that is the Ocean 22, and I literally have on there, meh, meh. at best. <laughs> meh, at best. <laughs> meh, at best. I mean, I'm, I'm almost like full Yellowstone that. I can't yellow. I can't. I can't Yellowstone it or larceny it. At ninety dollars is really bad. I would like ninety dollars. You tell me you can't. I'd know. like. To, I'd like that to be a twenty or thirty dollar bottle. And, and I hate saying it because. Uh, because we uh, love Jefferson. Trey's going to be mad. Jefferson's, Trey Zeller. Um, I've got a signed bottle. Um, I, I had a long hug with him once. That's that's actually a lie. Yeah, that's a lie. It was actually it this. Was longer. It was longer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 was, it was much it was, longer. It, it, it was a little a, more. It was a 45-minute spooning on a leather couch. <laughs> no. No. That sounds nice. <laughs> but... In truth, we love Jefferson's. We do. I think it's in my and, top and three we have, distilleries. We have proven it. I don't. We don't need to defend how we feel about this bourbon. I feel like we do a little bit. And, well, we and, just need people to know that we like Jefferson's. Right. We just we don't like, like this. This is a bad bottle. Yeah, and in this lineup, and and I mean, I'm sorry. I mean, it could offend some people. Not offend. It could deter some people from saying, "Well, I'm I'm not buying that Ocean's." Yeah. And you know what? Don't. <laughs> that's what i was gonna say i was gonna say and good okay. we should let people know don't save your 85 dollars yeah and buy two of the redwood empire if you're lucky enough to find it uh, actually also- save your 85 dollars then add money to that and buy four or five of the redwood empire <laughs> yeah right right uh we also that we don't know if uh manny Maybe tainted this bottle. Well, no, I didn't taint this bottle. But you can't get this bottle in this area. Hold on. I he said that, that like, I've I'd tainted that? bottles before. <laughs> I think he has it out for me. I don't think he likes me. <laughs> I don't think he likes me. 
I feel like he's playing the antagonist he role just, here in the podcast. He's just... He's like, this he's shots like, here right. and there. He's like, this podcast is going to end in a fight. Yeah, let me just see You what, guys ready? Yeah. <laughs> just, Ghost like is on my side. <laughs> Good call. I like to see action. I want to see a fist fight. Yeah. I mean, before I'm watching you, fights before after you this, came, so. Pam, he was already trying to get Dave and I go to, to go to blows. <laughs> not, okay. not like Easy now. <laughs> not consciously. It's just something I really want to see. <laughs> All right, Listen, so do don't we get wa- me beat up. <laughs> Listen, do we do we Sorry. even want to hear my rankings? Yeah, or? yeah. they're going to be yes, similar, yes, but do. I, no, let's just I do want to hear them. I feel like you're I like sh- the grandfather of Bourbon here. Uh, well, that was rude. <laughs> That's okay. I like it. Well, no, let's be honest. He's the one who got every single person here on Bourbon. True. So without so, a fact, so does that uh, without a doubt, <laughs> without a, with zero facts. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, that is without a doubt true. He, he definitely did. And I wasn't even expecting to ever dive into it the way that I have. And now uh, look at you. Yeah. Now look at you. You're six feet in the ground. Yeah. Now I can barely afford my bills, but I have a lot of bourbon. Liver. Artificial liver <laughs> set me up. Yeah. yeah. By the way, when those artificial livers come out, I'm going to need a loan. <laughs> you got it, brother. Oh, they're coming. They're coming. <laughs> We'll, uh, t- we'll talk off it. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, and, and, and you're right, Manny, Brady, Dave, Jacob. Um, about what? Ghost. <laughs> <Okay>. Nymeria. <laughs> <laughs> Buddha. Buddha. <laughs> Pam. I, rocks, I just want to make sure. Tommy Two Phones. <laughs> Hey, by egg, the way, who put egg. the two cigarette holes in your egg? <laughs> I don't have no idea how that happened. No idea. It was somebody else's egg before mine. The guy died. And I, I took feel it. like you're smoking something out of that. <laughs> yeah. There's, uh, there's, didn't there's, think about it. Maybe. maybe. Yeah. <laughs> it's a brown possibility. Here. <laughs> All right. So uh, I'll, I'll make this quick because it's not much different. You're right. So good. My number one is Old Carter. It's not because of the price point. It's because it actually stood up to the price point for me. I I said it earlier. I was extremely concerned about having this bourbon on because typically bourbons that cost a lot. We've had this happen a couple times. Um, well, it's, it's Joseph Magnus was one. Remember yes. how disappointed we were? It was yes. 150. Which, by the way, we should get to trying that again at some point. Yeah. But I agree. Cigar blend's good. Sometimes, sometimes when not just the price, when you just have this anticipation built right. up, like I just can't wait. And I had I it. Can't, yeah, I had it for two days, three yeah. days, and I'm like, uh, there's no way it can live up to it. I feel like it did. I now believe, I agree. that being said, Noah's Mill and Redwood were right there too at those price points. So I, I I'm gonna put Old Carter one. Uh, how much is Noah's Mill, by the way? Seventy, sixty-four, ninety-nine. I, I, I got paid, it for sixty-four, yeah. ninety-nine. Yeah, that's yeah. a good deal. Yeah. And I paid sixty-nine, ninety-eight. He just wanted wow, to see sixty-nine. Flex, wow, yeah. <laughs> flex, flex it. Uh, so Noah's Mill gets number two for me, but it gets number two by like a whisker, literally a whisker. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I uh, agree completely. It's it. It has so much depth and complex. I get a lot of floralness out of it, but it's floral that I like because I don't always like floral in my bourbons. Yeah, florality, I, and florality, florality. <laughs> florality. <laughs> We're using that from now on, and I and I agree with you. I just think my my slight difference in that would be for some reason for me it's coming up more as like a bunch of different spices. Yes. Yeah. 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 Which is floral, I guess. Right. But it's for a, life, and and and, <laughs> and again. I, I will always say this, and I believe it to be true, so therefore it is true, even if it's a lie. Nope, nope, not, no. Yeah. This is religion right here. This is. This is. So this if, is you, if you have a big was. boy <laughs> bourbon, if you have a big boy bourbon, write this down. <laughs> Take notes, kids. Okay. Take notes, and you get very little alcohol burn. It is worth every penny that you 
I, I, co- it for. I completely agree. I actually, I was just going to say once you once you started that, even it was hard for me to hold it back because I almost <laughs> forgot that that was a big boy bourbon. Right. 114 proof. That's the biggest one on the table and did not drink like it no. at all. No. No. Zero alcohol burn. Yeah. It's old Carter. Zero alcohol burn. One of the things that the old Carter really impressed me with, and I wrote it down, the mouthfeel was amazing on that. The old Carter? Yeah. 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 Actually, the the two mouthfeel winners, I think, were actually the old Carter and the Redwood. Mm-hmm. Let me get to that. that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Easy now, Tiger. <laughs> that was the best. <laughs> so, uh, Dave stole my thunder because my bad. <laughs> yeah, it's okay though. But I mean, sometimes we're symbiotic, and uh, a big word. We we were that way with this one for sure. Uh, under normal circumstances, I would put it number one. Yeah, it just happened to be in a lineup with a couple real. Huge heavyweights. Mm-hmm. However, this uh, nose, the nose was amazing. And mm-hmm. it had sexy nose. sexy nose, but it had the best mouthfeel out of all of these bourbons. It was the most, I think it was the but- most buttery it, of it, all it, of them. Yeah, I we might started have with to it too. Just, I know. That's crazy. It's crazy. When we went back, when, when I went back to it after tasting those last two, I was like, Jesus Christ, this yeah. thing. 30. But the but the it the, is ninety gosh. proof. That's that's yeah. kind of the kick only ninety it. proof. But for the price point, um, I, I if we we did this tasting strictly on okay, what's the best value? Which we're gonna have to do at some point. Not even close. Not even close. Not even close. That's like, by far the best value. Right. Yeah. We'd have to, it, it we, would be one it's that and Sazerac two, Rye or those. Yeah. If we had 12 bottles of this with our group of friends, they'd be fighting over it. Like, hey, we make sure we get one of yeah, those I c- bottles. I can make it happen. Man, I'm telling you, we could get rid of them for sure. Yeah, I got but the hookup. let's not forget, the nose was really good, too. Yeah. Had a very good nose. I, my nose uh, notes were cherry, caramel, and a little florality. I, I love I love this florality thing. Yeah. We're we're keeping uh, that. I looked it I'm up. big on the floral stuff today. Oh, you I looked, looked it, it up? up? It is not a word, so <laughs> we we can make it a word. That is starting right here. That is yeah, a bastards was... of bourbon word, and it will one day be in the dictionary. All right, <laughs> it will for sure. At the very least, it's a sniglet. <laughs> sniglet. I don't what know. is that? <laughs> that? What? That may, that may be a word. A Pam, Pam knows what a sniglet is. <laughs> Yeah. We can't just make up that, a bunch so of words. No. Right. Have is you ever heard word. of the word it's blint? What? A blint is a you word. You mean blunt. No, blint. <laughs> blint. Blint is a sniglet. It's a word that's made up that's not in the dictionary that should be in a this dictionary. This is one of those things that, like, you, okay. say, it is, you say it. Hold on. Like, I should know it. I have no idea what that means. A sniglet you, is an often humorous word made up to describe something for which no dictionary word exists. Oh, you use it perfectly, too. Thank you. Yeah, and you use it perfectly. Yeah. Okay, well, plurality is not a I know. sniglet. I'm my intelligence. I'm, my I'm intelligence, very surprised. <laughs> my intelligence is impressive. Is it not? <laughs> it is. I, okay. You got me. <laughs> so, blint is belly button lint. Oh, Blint. Okay. All right. I get okay. It. Huh? Yeah, I'll show everybody. Hold no, on. No, 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 no. <laughs> Easy now. We're good. <laughs> Images, Jacob. You guys are. Jeez, just want to add a little flavor to there the podcast. There you go. Get it. Get it. Blint. <laughs> oh. Build your day. Yeah, I, I None of those are. Yeah. It. Well, I, I mean, you know, it is twenty twenty. Urban, Urban dictionary. dictionary. There we go. This guy's a blint. Blint. She's a blint. Stupid, arrogant asshole. <laughs> Similar to cut. <laughs> Highly offensive word. That guy is a blint. She's such a blint. I mean, she is much better than Jack. He's a total blint. And he His name and she blint has a lot of belly button lint. The <laughs> now we're rappers. <laughs> Oh my god, we have digressed. I'm not even halfway through my fucking rankings. You're exactly halfway through. (laughs) (laughs) All right, so the Redwood. And then we wonder why these last three hours. (laughs) 
but it's worth every second. Uh, okay. Number four, uh, and, and having hearing your previous three rankings, I started to waffle on it thinking, eh, maybe I didn't like it that much. But I have Uncle Nearest as number four. Yeah. Um, I <laughs> yeah. tried it. I tried it more than once, as we all did. The earthiness, I liked it. It grabbed me. Yeah. It, su- it sucked me in. It's different. It took me six feet deep. I like liked, a worm. I liked s- it. Squirming into the soil. <laughs> I felt flowers protruding from my body. Stop. Just stop. Just stop. <laughs> and Brady said it, and I'm just going to echo it. I give it number four because for $55, I'm going to get this every day over Remus Reserve yeah. for 90 Yeah. That was, my, that was my deciding factor. Yeah. I'm sorry. So uh, there was some... I agree with the I price thought point. It, I thought it. I up. like the Remus better, but the price point for that is so much better. Yeah, it, you won't be. That's a hard hard bottle to find. Yeah, you won't be able to find that if you're not looking for it and know where to go to get it. Sure. I do have to shout out real quick. We are definitely going to be trying Uncle Nearest again on a podcast because the guy that really turned me on to it, his name is Benjamin. He's the guy that turned me on to the story as well, Benji. And he's going to he's going to come on the podcast at some point for sure. I would love that. Yeah. All right. Uh, number five, Remus, and uh, number six, Jefferson's Ocean. What do now, you think I, about Jefferson's. Come on, give me your. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you my little spiel. Spiel. Okay. Spiel. And I I think I gave it already, but I, for my purposes, this Voyage 22, it was thin, got a little salty. No one wants that. I'm a little salty about it. Yeah. Thin and salty is okay when you're eating a pretzel. All right? That's okay. It's not okay when you're drinking a pretzel. He thought about that line for so long. No. That was really good. It was really good. I wish I would have come up with it. (laughs) The bottom line is when you have Jefferson's Ocean, you need to be aware that you might get a gem Every one or two voyages, every yeah, three or four like, voyages. You don't know what they're doing on those voyages. But, but right. um, <laughs> do your research well, before you buy it. We told you it was a it. boring, boring, a boring voyage. voyage. There was only high seas and then, as Steve would say, rape. <laughs> so, <laughs> but clearly not enough. <laughs> so, well, that, so honestly, probably, so we can make a correlation here. We can make a correlation to boring voyage, boring whiskey. Yeah. Because I'm sure when it's very stormy, there's probably a lot of more of the extra going on. A lot, of, well, a lot of more motion in the ocean, if yeah. you know what I mean. And I will yeah. say I was excited for this one because I know how much you guys liked the weeded last the one. Ni- the 19 was excellent. I know you guys really 19, liked the weeded one. Like the 19, 21 is still, uh, it goes down as my all-time favorite. Uh, Jefferson? Yes. 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 And maybe, maybe in my top five. Bourbons, it's it's it's, it's so excellent. I like the lemon. I feel like we might need to just have a little sip of it. I I, I was going to ask for some because I I need to try it again. But I will say I like the lemon. Yep, yep. I like seven and eleven. Seven eleven. Twenty doesn't like seven eleven. You know. I don't know if I've had the twenty one. Oh, are you serious? I don't know if I. You've have. never had that. I don't think I have. Oh, finish that up. You need to taste that for sure. Wow. Wow. I mean, wow. wow. Easy now. Pam, aren't you glad you made it? Yeah. This Noah Mills. This is going to be like, there are times where I'm mildly sad about bottles leaving here with the people blow, that brought them. This is going to blow your socks off. Joke's on you. I'm not wearing no. socks. No, Jacob. No. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Because I blew them off earlier with get that Redwood. Get your ass over here. <laughs> I'll tell you what. We did that first. I'll be honest. That hey, Dave, I forgot. I got to go put some air in my tires. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I mean, I, I'll i be honest with you. 
by far runaway winner. Like you said, the red. It's not even close. It might be third on the list, but it's the runaway I mean, you winner. You could put this up with a lot of high class, expensive ass bourbons, and it's right there. You know something you said at the beginning of the podcast about like Blanton's is working its way down your list. It's way down my list. It's working its way down your list. After this lineup, I'm like, God, I don't understand what he's saying. It's way. What I found out. Can I is, compare Blanton's to Noah Mills? No. Honestly, for can I compare dollars. Blanton's to Redwood mm-hmm, Empire? Mm-hmm. I would agree with that. Uh, you yeah. know what? I think this is better than Blanton's. I'm going to be honest. I, I, I might be. I wouldn't say I will that. Say, Blanton's, they do a great job it's, promoting it. The, the Noah Mills is definitely better than than the Blanton's. Not even close. But the Redwood Empire, I might, I might agree. Slightly cheaper price point, too. They do such a good job. Grab that bottle of Blanton's. It's going to get hairy in here. Oh, we're going to the plans now. Pam is like, I'm going to fucking kill these guys. I just, I still really Pam, like Just get Blans. some more Sazerac. It'll be fun. Blans probably better than the Redwood. I had it the other day oh. after Notre Dame one. I was like, what? Was still... Jacob? <laughs> Jacob said the Jefferson's was, was is good. I thought he was so, talking yeah, about that, 22. I even said it that day. I was like, He's talking about the 21. Okay. I, yeah. Um, I didn't think it tasted yeah. that great that night. It did not taste good. I think good. it was because that was after like five old fashions. Steve, you're going to be maybe a little mad at me. You may have heard it while you were in the bathroom. I did. I did. But what he said earlier about Blanton's falling down his list, this tasting actually kind of made me think the same thing a little bit. Now, is Blanton's still phenomenal? Yes. Is it a good price point? Yes. But you're never going to. I can't say. I can't say Blanton's is better than Noah Mills. I feel like I can't say that. Their marketing I mean, is so good. I actually, their I, marketing is great. I'm opening like the last bottle of Blanton's I okay. have to do a comparison. Well, because good because you're talking shit right now. You're so yeah, I mean, you're, 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 you know what? He, you I can't want him. Even. I want a, a, a blind taste. I want a blind taste for him and and, and Red well, Redwood. We're, we're definitely going to be able to pick out which one is Blanton's yeah. without a doubt. Oh yeah, but. It's yeah. a matter of whether it's better, I get, so we don't I, need a blind. I, I we'll can know guarantee you, you can put Blanton's against anything, and I don't give a shit if it's Pappy Van Winkle 23, and I will still pick the Blanton's. You're getting a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, was just, I ran out of water, man. The, uh... <laughs> oh, I've got a lot of talk, Jacob. A lot. <laughs> The uh, but I'm backing it up. But I was even gonna say the the redwood is is even up there with Blanton's for me. I can't say it's better than Blanton's, but the redwood is up there uh, for me. I will I will say it. I like it better than Blanton's. Redwood? Yeah, I do. Okay, I do. <laughs> I I I think you should get. Uh, I think you guys should have a fist fight. Well, no, I, I think it's easy to say when when you're just drinking it and you you but haven't even the, here's compared it though. to it. But so, here's the difference. All right, put that in 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 a Glen Karen, a fresh Glen Karen, and then let me know what you think. I'm about to do it. We're, we're gonna as soon do as it, I finish this Noah Mills. Here's that's the what difference. I'm doing. No, a fresh Glen Karen. Well, give me that fresh one out of there. Just, just rinse it out. Here's is the difference for me. No. So, I can get good this enough. any day of the week. He's that's, so upset, folks. That's He's what we've so been upset. doing. We can. I could get this any any day. Easy. Not hard to get. Are you sure? I yes. mean, you didn't seem like you were sure earlier. Well, I didn't know a whole lot about it when I bought it. I knew it was good. No, Ish. I mean they sell that at the gas stations in Cleveland. That's, talk to your son. He right next to the cult. Forty-five liquor. Two six nine. Yeah. Maybe that's Smoke all we liquor. need. <laughs> Go to the bar, smoke, <laughs> no, smoke that Cali different. weed. It's, it's behind the counter with the cigs. I can tell you, uh, this Jefferson's 21. Jacob said it was phenomenal. It's good. I haven't gone to that yet. I will say, though, $90? No, a, no, 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 no. It's 21, I'm with it. What's the proof? The 21, I'm with it. Oh, absolutely. Is it? Is it? And they had it at... Proof? It's cast strength. Oh so, no, so, it's 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 a big boy. It's a big it's one, boy. Uh, I'll look on the bottle. Other side. Smell is one twelve. One twelve. Yeah, it's big. It is Noah's it, Mill. It drinks like a ninety. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's phenomenal. I get a. Lo- I, I don't. I'm not a but big that's fan what, of salt, and I get a lot of salt still from it. Really? 
I feel like uh, that might be in your head just because it's oceans. No, I, you know what I found I out too is I head. found out what I don't like yesterday because I had that Willet pot still. Yeah. I don't like banana. That's what I found. 1910 banana. Yeah. Uh, pot still, banana. I found out that's the taste that I dislike. Actually, what's funny is when I tasted that George T. Stag. This? The owner, I was still on the clock, but it was it was pretty much over. I just had to like wrap things up, and she said, "Well, and plus I'm salary, so that doesn't really matter." But so she, the owner Susie, she was like, "Come sit down, have a drink," and I was like, "Oh no, I got some stuff I'm gonna finish up." And she's like, "No, no, you can finish it up in a minute." And I was gonna drink the 1910. I was like, "Yeah, go ahead, let me get that 1910." She was like, "Would you like to taste the George D. Stag?" And I was like, "Fucking throw that bottle of 1910 across the room and." Grab that big boy. <laughs> I feel like the way you, you, you told that story, there was like something sexual. Sexual like, tension. Yes. That's it. <laughs> like she was almost like showing you She's like sit on my lap. Her Come like on, her, her oh, breasts. No. Oh no, you're 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 confusing yeah, you're confusing <laughs> the sexual tension was with the George T. Stag. There was a lot of sexual tension with me and old George. <laughs> I sniffed him I don't for 20 him. minutes I before I tasted sensation. him. Teased it. That was the you worst thing it. that has ever come out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no, heebie-jeebies was the worst thing. No, no, no. Did you listen? I just yeah, said I, I sniffed I, him for 20 it. minutes before I tasted him. <laughs> that is by far the worst thing that that's, has ever come out of my mouth. Bad. Definitely that's <laughs> top 10 uh, worst things I've ever heard anybody say. <laughs> See? <laughs> but, I mean, in context, it makes sense. Out of context, it's horrible. Yeah. I mean, someone who just steps in for a minute on this podcast and heard those 15 seconds, uh, they're going to be scarred for life, Dave. <laughs> yeah, like one of those people who, like, skips through just to see. Yeah. You're like, oh, my God. He's sniffing. He's <laughs> sniffing someone. He really likes George. <laughs> <laughs> I got to tell you. The Blantons is actually closer to the Noah Mills than 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 I was thinking. I don't dis don't diss the Blantons. I, you I, and I both know it. Yes, and I still it's tough. We might call it a one A and one B situation. I might still put the Noah Mills ahead, but the Blantons compared to it a lot better than I was thinking. It's actually been a little while since I tasted Blantons. Like, I just opened my last bottle. And that's probably why. And you probably shouldn't have opened your last bottle, but I got your back, brother. Don't worry. I appreciate you. The, uh, but it's, 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 it's not going to go bad in three days. It's, 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 it's closer. It's, it's definitely closer than I was thinking. I literally, when I said it, I was like, Noah Mills just fucking knocks it out of the park. But no, it. But well, Blanton's is right there. It is, it is. I really thought me and you were about to have another yeah. old tub versus benchmark I moment. <laughs> I really did. And, and I'm it's like, it's to, about to go down. Just for, <laughs> just, just so <laughs> Jacob is disappointed. He was hoping that's what happened. Well, and just so I can get full <laughs> transparency, I'm gonna have to have some Blanton's just so. Hey, listen, we're gonna need to sell tickets. Because I, I brought it up with Carp again, we're gonna need to sell tickets to oh, yeah, me and uh, me and Jake. And I'm Just getting like and I and I'm getting I'm getting back in shape. And so okay, okay. better be careful. Who's got a basketball? I'll dribble right now. <laughs> I've already been dribbling bourbon all down my chin. <laughs> I do want to throw something out there. This is this is random, but I I do want to see this. I want to see Wendy and I want to see Pam Bolger on a podcast together. We're trying to get it done. But, I agree. Uh, I'll tell you, you what. Know, it would be fantastic. I would love it. We need to do it. We do. Yeah. I'll yeah. tell you what. And they both have good bourbon knowledge. Yeah. That's the thing. Oh, yeah. It's not like they're coming in like. Pam oh. drinks almost everything we drink. Yes. And I, I, I'll have to say, our views are going down a little bit, but the people that want to be on the podcast is fucking skyrocketing. People approach me almost every day about trying to come on the podcast. I mean, so why what, would you not? You, <laughs> so, so the people, the people you talk to at Garden Grill, yeah, all right, they're they're asking you questions. They won't get on and fucking watch it. Well, I, I'll tell you, <laughs> a, a big part of the problem is is a lot of the uh, bourbon drinkers we have there are old heads. And they ask me every time how they how they watch it again. Yeah. You know, they're like, how do I how do I get to it again? They just they don't 
They don't have the tech tech technology savvy yeah. to really be like able Charlie. to easy. Charlie. Yeah. Char- Charlie got it down. Charlie's got Charlie would be a good guest too. I'll tell you what. Ooh. I think he would be too. If somebody told me I, I feel like I I you brought it do up. this this is a, oh, you know what I shouldn't We'd say have that. To do I like shouldn't three. disrespect him that way. We'd probably he, do 3 with him. No, he could. He has the best stories. Oh, he'll yes. Oh, get him on. Listen, I'm saying the actual <laughs> tasting would be 3 bourbons and then we would sit here and talk to him for as yes, long as he wanted to talk. It would be a his jokes and I'm are for the best. it. Some I, of my best yeah, jokes are his jokes. I don't think he has jokes. any sort of chickpea type of joke, though, does he? <laughs> oh, <laughs> look, at, look at Brady yeah. upset about us yeah. talking about yeah. the jokes. No, 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 no. <laughs> Brady, Brady's a chuckle slut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a, hold on, in case in case that does not get picked up by the mics, <laughs> Jacob just said Brady is a chuckle, chuckle slut. slut. <laughs> that is absolutely true. I'm. A slut for a lot of different things, but Chuckles is probably number one. <laughs> that, that is that is maybe the best nickname I've ever heard, and you will forever Chuckle now slut. be referred to I, as Chuckle Slut. Oh, man. <laughs> I, I haven't laughed this hard in a long uh, time. Well, you're gonna you just get ready to laugh harder. So, in, in, oh shit, <laughs> yeah. I got, <laughs> what time is it? Uh, how 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 long has it been recorded? We're good. We're good. Oh yeah. yeah! Oh, I thought we, we were at least an hour. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> I am. Go- I am going one to one hour. This might. This might end up being the longest podcast <laughs> we've ever done. Let's go. <laughs> I am about to tell you the the simplest, best Charlie Manfresco joke there is on the face of the earth. Oh shit! It's a pirate one. I think I know what's coming. And it's no, that's good. rapey. No, it's it good. is. <laughs> it is gold. Okay, so I got to get into character first, all right? Oh. All right, so let and me get into character. Scene. You let me know when you're ready. Okay. Really prepared. All right, so listen. You're ready? And scene. I, I, I had a really difficult day today. I'm trying to hold it together, all right? I hope you're okay. I stopped a rape today. Oh, shit. It was really difficult. Everything comes back to rape. Oh, my <laughs> God. You don't understand. I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. I changed my mind. <laughs> no, like I can't. Oh, I can't. I, I have heard Charlie Manfresco tell that joke, and it's it's a little bit funnier coming out of him. But uh, I'll be honest, I'd never heard that, that one from um, him. That was good. Yeah, he doesn't though. tell the rape jokes to his grandson. <laughs> oh no, no, no! He <laughs> that is. Holy Boy. shit. <laughs> it's, it's intense, but very quick, right? It's oh just my God. It's just right, right, yeah, smacks it's you right. It's a in the classic. Face. I'll tell you what, I like my favorite. I like the, the pirate one. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And that's a clean one, too. It is clean. You should tell it. Yeah, I can't yeah. remember. Oh, boy. Come on, with it. Come on. This is going to be rough to do right with, now. With, with, with. <laughs> The hook and I, yeah, I mean I can't I can't tell it right because I I can't remember all of it. Is it long? No, no. All right, so <laughs> I'm gonna now. do it this justice because well, is that a word? This justice? Uh, no, injustice. injustice. Yeah, yes. injustice. Pronunciate. Yeah. <laughs> I actually have. Here's Listen, the best part: is I have a video of him telling this joke I, on my phone. I, I saw it. I saw the video. I mean, you video. could just play the video up into the mic. Maybe. All right. Yeah. Here, while you're thinking about the joke, I just want to say, I have Blanton's right now. Mm-hmm. I've had one sip of it. This bourbon is as good as all of these bourbons. And again, uh, all right, maybe I'm rose-colored glasses or rose-colored Glen Cairns. But I wish we had those. <laughs> <laughs> can Sorry. we can we get those? Is that a thing? Yeah. <laughs> Let's make it a thing. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, I'll tell you what the nose the nose That's actually isn't a phenomenal as good as, idea. Edit that out. I don't like the nose compared to what we had earlier. Anything. But what's the closest to it is the redwood. It, it's so close. I feel like redwood said. Let's make a bourbon just like Blanton's. Yeah. If it, uh, well, it could, you get more cherry out of the redwood for sure. More cherry out of the redwood. 
more cherry out of the redwood. But yes. I will say, Blanton's, after I said that, and I was really like thinking, like, man. Dissing Blanton's. Uh, I wasn't. Pissing I, on it. You were pissing on it. <laughs> I'm pissing on it. I, I still. I. I think it would actually be a battle in there for the top three that we named. I think Blanton's is yep. in a battle there. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah, so. I mean, is Noah's Mill better? You're saying it is. Yes. I don't think it's close. I think it might be, I, I actually. I think it's close, but I think the Noah Mills is actually maybe a little bit better. But I think it's very, very close. I don't want to be on here anymore. I will put... He's done I, with that. I, I think I like the Redwood better than this. I... I think Noah's Mill has a little bit more going on. It's a novelty Blanton's. item. Yeah. It is. And it, yeah. don't get me wrong. I Everybody will... loves Noah's Mill. It's no. so new. Well, yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, tell, I'll tell you why you for sure like it better, and I thought I was on board with you with this, is it's nowhere near as sweet. The right. Blanton's is not. Right. And that is, I don't like that sweet. is right up your fucking profile for sure. And I thought I was there with you, but that Noah's Mill did something to my mouth. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Jesus. What can we Christ. say about wow. that? I mean, I get worried. When you guys say mouthfeel, that makes me uncomfortable. But, <laughs> so I mean, that's that a big part. To my mouth. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> it's a big part. It's a big part of tasting bourbon, though. It's it the is. the mouthfeel. Feel. It is, and listen on the. T- you would have been really uncomfortable on the under twenty five tasting we did because we were like bourbon drinkers. Oh, I know, I heard. We it. take it in the it. mouth. No, it it really made me uncomfortable. I don't like it. I kind of like it. <laughs> I, no, Mandy's I, like I've considered to not do these anymore because of that. I, <laughs> but then I, I remember the bourbon. I'm going to say I I like the Blaine's and I will buy the Blaine's. I will get it just because I want the horses. Yeah. Uh, that's it. That's the, that's only, the reason. only reason you'll buy Blanton's. The if, horse. If I can't get it for retail, the horse. Well, and, and, and I completely <laughs> agree. If I can't get it for retail, I am not, I'm not buying it. I'm, I'm not, not a bu- shot. Right. I'm not buying it for a hundred and fifty dollars no. like people are no, buying it for, no, or no, even a hundred no, bucks. No, 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 no. Well, people are buying the Weller Special Reserve for two hundred dollars. Oh, it's ridiculous. So you guys want to? Ha- I can get yeah. you a handle for I'll thirty dollars. Right. If I could, and, if I couldn't, get you don't like it. We're, I'm throwing it I, in the yeah. trash. We watched another like game last reserve. weekend, and that was what we were making old fashions with. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And that's yeah, a perfect yeah, thing yeah. to do it That's with. why I said they were like, uh, I'm not he, drinking that he, neat. He looked at me. He was like, what's, no. like, what, what bottle? Not drinking like, on the rocks. So that's the bottle that I don't care about. That's the one I want to get rid of. Right. I, I will I will say the Blanton's, if I couldn't get it for the fifty four ninety nine, dollars I'd probably pay 100 Uh Yeah. If you've if, never if, had if, it. If I was Jones in for it. If I was Jones in for it, I'd pay a hundred for it. Uh, yeah. If I if I couldn't get it for the fifty five ninety nine, we're just lucky that we can get it for the fifty four ninety nine. I think a big part of it too is that the bottle is so cool and that's you can it. collect that's the taps. Cool. Like, no, like uh, that, that's, that's something you that can't has do with nothing to do with it. Nothing. I think it has to do. <laughs> I think I it think has it, a lot to do with it. <laughs> I think it has to do with the difficulty of getting it. I'm way I, yeah. beyond but, that though, More yeah. Brady. I I have like yeah, seventy five horses. Yeah. <laughs> I know. At just, least. Just, just running <laughs> around I'm trying to get them all on my own. I'm trying to be legit out here. I, uh, I was trying to do that. I know how hard more. it is. I need two more. The right. tease. The so, tease. So, so I got the first round, and it was crazy story how I got the first round. Crazy. I'm not going to uh, bore you guys with that story again because people on the podcast who don't listen to it already know it. And wait, that's wait, funny in and of wait, itself. Wait, wait, what did you just say? Yeah. <laughs> What did you just oh. say? Right. It was a conundrum, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I, think we I was going to say, fuck you, true. What is it? Uh, the I Ricky said Bobby. people people who don't listen to the podcast don't want to hear the story. What? I guess that's fair, but I, I mean, <laughs> still, I, that's a conundrum. That's a big word for me. I know. All right. So conundrum. how I got my last horse was a crazy story. I'm not going to tell you that. But my point is, once I got that, and I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to get the second one you pretty quick. You lost the desire, right? Right. So I, no I continue to get Blanton's, of course. I cannot get that second rung. I mean, I'm telling you what. It is crazy. All I need is a letter, one letter, A. Can't get it. Oh, and God. I have... Seven of them bitches. <laughs> Hide that. I, I have... 
27 empty bottles of Blanton's. Oh, I know. I've seen I've seen it. <laughs> I've seen it. Can't get it. That's Can't a red flag. See, here's my my problem sure. is, is I want to do it on my own. Right. I, there's something and that's to what it I, too. Yeah, you don't want me to like, give you the stopper. Exactly. Like I'm hunting. I, I did it. I agree. It, I did it on my own. I it's, was the same way. Do and it on I, your own. I just need the tease. Those are the hardest ones to get to. I think to. there's only one no. tea in it. No, I got tea. What were the two? I got, I, ends, I got ends, 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 ends. I got ends coming out my ass. <laughs> that sounds weird. I know. It does. <laughs> if you tickle my ass, ends will come out. I... <laughs> Does that make any sense? No. Well, that, Somebody, that definitely oh, won't happen. It would make sense. Uh, yeah, I will say. I kind of. There's a scenario where it could make sense. It could. What is that I scenario, agree. Jake? I, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it involves Scrabble. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I will say, I, I feel like me and Dave have been on the same page tonight. We've been looking at each other like, what is happening? <laughs> There's been multiple times where me and you were like. <laughs> you guys want to hug it out? No, Maybe we want to <laughs> listen. Let's get hey. let's get ghost out. And I'm gonna leave uh, some. Uh, yeah, I just want to Redwood cross. The uh, I gotta the say, up yourself. I'm telling you, I think it's better. I gotta I say, think Jacob, it's better. F- fun, uh, funds are a little tighter than they used to be, but we definitely 100 percent need to figure out how to get uh, five to six to seven to eight mics because you you definitely need one because I feel like I have to repeat what you say sometimes because you say gold and oh yeah he needs one for sure yeah. Yeah, and then and then one for the peanut gallery so and he knows his bourbon yeah he knows he, he knows yeah. his bourbon can very I bring, well well can I he's bring up, the behind the scenes guy on this podcast yeah. <laughs> can I bring up a kind of a random point here <laughs> yeah this is a serious random actual bourbon point okay. I want to do a bastard's barrel pick. Really, I love. It's it. been discussed. I, I know it. you guys. Well, I because I we we talked about it before, but I would love to do a barrel pick. I so think that would be I, I will, awesome. I will say you said you, I we talked. You said Buffalo Trace is it's basically out. out of the picture. Yeah, there's no, no. way. Old Forster. Yeah, and That's, and and I'll tell you where else is Woodford. We could do Woodford. Honestly, for a barrel pick for the podcast, we could do any one of them. And we have been sh- shockingly surprised by some Woodford products. That store pick, uh, rye, was phenomenal. But I would like to see either, I think, Jefferson's or Old Forest. Oh, with Jefferson. I, we didn't even look at Jefferson's. Yeah. yeah. I but Buffalo like Trace th- is I mean, there, I feel like we could not, do that. Not because of the necessarily the price point, just because it's you're, it's you can't get well, it. You're They're gonna sold wait. out. ASAP. Right. You're waiting forever to yes. be able to do it. Yes. We might get it 10 years down the road when right. we're done doing the podcast. But 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 there are other um, smaller boutique bourbon distilleries like Jefferson's yeah. that we, we don't... I mean, for instance, how do we know Old Carter won't give us a fucking barrel pick? MGP. Right. Uh, all those, uh, how do we MGP. know... I mean... Huge I mean, fan. It's gotta be. It's gotta be something. Widow clo- Jade, right? They're actually just about to be coming out with their own product for the first oh, time. I think we got a couple of years still. Is it? They're getting close though. Close. Uh, when we, I, I mean, I, I think they're within a year or two. Here's the thing. It. Honestly, I think whoever we can get to get on board with it, and obviously we're gonna have to pay for it. I'm telling you. But whoever we can get to get on board with it is who we go with. And the cool thing about it is, when you do your barrel pick, you actually go down there and you taste the barrel. Old so Forester. I think Old Forester's a good selection. Yeah, I, I, I mean, really I'm, do. I'm, I'm fine with it. I've listened because to, I love. I love the product. I listen to them talk about how it works. Yeah, like how they do it. We don't even have to go down there if we don't want to. They will send us no, three we, different. We want to go down. Oh, there. I know. I want to go down there. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, but but depending on what happens with COVID, this right? May, they this will. May be, they uh, will send us great. three different uh, barrels. They'll send us a a bottle, a flavor, a fifth yeah, of three different bottles, and we can try them and kind of pick where we want. And if we don't like them, and, and, and we're talking like somewhere. And again, I'm just spitballing here. It's like ten grand. I would I, for some reason I remember looking at it before and I think it's anywhere between five and ten. Okay, I we got to get a lot of people deep. on board. Oh, I just I, tons I, of people. We yeah. could we could do it easily, easily. I think we could do it easily. Is actually the but but I want something. But I want something. 
But I want something. Have um, a glass of bourbon fucking label. I want something on it. good, right? We all want something good. We we will not. We will not just pick one because they're giving us right. the right price. And, 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 and I'd be fine with old Foresters because there are old Foresters that I love. They just I came mean, out. 1920, 1920, 1920. Love 1920. They came out with. Honestly, we were, we were happy with the 86. Right. It's, we didn't think that they was came a terrible out with one. The, the barrel proof. Hundred, it's. Hundred or. I, can't, it's, I think it's barrel. It's not barrel proof, but. They came out with their. I swear they call it barrel proof. It's a hundred. So they, so they have their their. Um, it's a newer one. Single right. barrel. They single, have. That's it. That's what I was looking for. Barrel. Yeah. And I've heard those are fantastic. And I've been looking for one for a long time to try it. And I think I mean here's the thing, uh, Manny, and and you you and uh, Adam went there on your your tasting, and I I, I regret that. Every Who the fuck is every, Adam. Every day of my life, I regret it. Like I wake up some mornings in in a <laughs> in a tear. So there, you don't want to know Adam. Yeah, you don't want to know. Fair let's enough. just say. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's we'll just say, say. Let's just say Manny went with his boyfriend. Okay, they yeah. went over. Oh they did a God. tasting. You see, the, you see what happened. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Go on, get, get, <laughs> get. <laughs> Easy now. Tiger. All right, well, listen, I'm going to go. No. You call me when you're done. I'll come back and pick you up. I'll come pick you up. Oh, my you God. You go on. You get. Oh <laughs> yeah, she's definitely <laughs> leaving now. No, no, say, no. no, oh, no another gonna, no. no, no. <laughs> Old Forester Rye. Great. For $25? Can't beat it. It is <laughs> one of the best ryes out there. <laughs> yeah, for $25. Not yeah. even close. Man, I wish you would have had that midsummer's night dram, midwinter's night dram. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's like you try to like sweet talk me out. So oh, this oh my god, that midwinter oh. night dram. It was it was oh. really good. But really good. no one has been able to know what we know about it. Well, Brady does because <laughs> he was there. He was there. We should throw that out there. That midwinter's night dram is probably who makes not, it. Uh, High West. It Wait, is. are we still recording? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it is my favorite rye. Like Manny, bar none. This is the apex of rise. Top five. Dare I say years. I like it better than Blends? Well, I I think I I'll pay two hundred for that bottle. All right, Pam, hold on. If I have to, Brady's here. I don't Manny, know. you got Manny. I'll be back at one. <laughs> what time Just let is her it? go. We'll figure it out. <laughs> it's eleven fifty. <laughs> it's eleven fifty. I'll be back at one o'clock. <laughs> This is definitely going to be the longest podcast. I'll, I'll, you Five I'll hours. tell you what. I'll tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> I will be honest. This is a, the hardest I laughed for a long oh, time. So Multiple times. Shit. Just aggressively. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Look, now that she says we're leaving, we have nothing to say. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> it's jokes. It's jokes. Come on. No, we love you, Pam. Don't take the Glen Karen. No, they're already out of the box. <laughs> We've already used them. Oh. <laughs> oh. I want to get back right. to the barrel yeah, pick, though. I do want to. Uh, that's my, one thing my, I want to bring up because I my, really want to do a barrel pick. And it would be awesome to see a Bastards of Bourbon logo on any bottle. How cool would that be? How fucking cool would that be? And we, my top three distilleries are Jefferson, Old Forester, and uh, Buffalo Trace. Just Cheers surely, you, buddy. surely, I mean that is a no brainer. Those yeah. are the best. Surely by, by far. surely by the amount. Of whiskeys I like from I would say, them. I, 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 I mean, I'm going to put right there, and I know you guys are going to be shocked by this. Woodford, I'm telling you. No, I, I am been shocked there. by that. You've been there. Garbage. Oh, my God. Yeah. Garbage. I got to disagree with that, garbage. man. I think garbage is a little tough, but I am leaning more garbage. towards Manny than I am you guys. I, garbage. I, I, it's not up there for me. There, listen, I will are say they're, just they're in general, readily Woodford? available shit. Yeah. Horrible. Not good. So you didn't enjoy that tour? 
that's not what we're talking about. Well, I'm talking about the tour. That, I no, thought we're, we're talking, talking about, about barrel tour. picks. We're talking about barrel doing picks. a barrel pick whiskey standards is what we're talking about. Okay. I've never been on a tour. Yeah, ever. the tour was fantastic. Uh, the tour is, is great. I'm talking Besides, about... How many whiskeys I love from the distillery, Old Forester, Jefferson's, and Buffalo Trace. So who, who we can get a barrel from, right? Yeah. Right. That's what we're talking okay. about. Okay. So, I think, I'll be honest with you. I've watched a lot of shit. I think Old Forester is going to be our best. Yeah. I, I, like the, I feel uh, like he's actually looked into it. No, <laughs> I told you. I, I get on, on, on kicks, and I, I listen to podcasts, and then my mom doesn't like me talking about it because she's like... You're an alcoholic. I said, no, I'm not. No, I'm a connoisseur. <laughs> That's it. I like the idea. I but like, I, think, I think that we would We need be... to do it, and we have enough, as Manny already said, we have enough firepower to do it by by far. Yeah, bang, I mean, bang. it's not even close. <laughs> yeah. Not even close. Bang, bang. Yeah. And could you, could you just imagine having a Bastards of Bourbon logo on some fucking... Are you... Right. You know, I I really on I, a fantastic one hundred proof or uh, no, I mean, it's got to be a big boy. It's got to be. Gotta be a big I want to be big boy. Yeah, it's got to be. I want to be one fifty proof. <laughs> <laughs> I would love. I think I really would like to do it if we all went down. Yeah, uh, yeah, we need be, to do it. But we, I mean, you know, it's it's big money. I mean, we're throwing out big money, but again, we're going to we need investors. We can do it. Yeah, I I don't think we'll have a problem finding people to jump on no. board. No. I know Bubba's all into it. Like he's, we've had extensive conversation. He's like, we gotta get a barrel. I'm thinking, let's get a barrel. Jeff, Jeff would be in. Oh, oh for we sure. no, we definitely have um, BJ. My dad would do uh, it. Baker, Baker, he, he wants to do it, dude. Yeah, I was just gonna say yeah, that, dude. man. I'm thinking, dude, Kessler. Uh, we, yeah. we, for sure, <laughs> just we, we have enough. There. Definitely. All right, I love dude. I really do. He's a he's a different he's, breed. Uh, yeah, uh, totally different breed. Maybe a different species. Yeah, he's. I, I love that guy. In he's the most generous person I've ever met in my yeah, life. He's phenomenal. Uh, he really is. I th- I even think there's people we're not even thinking of that would actually be on board with it. I think Mike Thomas Pat, would be on board. Mike with Thomas. It. Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah. I mean, it, it's gonna Adam, be an easy thing yeah, to do. Adam would. And, Doug, and we're gonna be like holding bottles back, be like, no, motherfucker. <laughs> well, here's the deal: we're not gonna get a bad bottle. No, right. we're not gonna get a bad barrel. Yeah, it's not happening. No, but we want it. We and do. we want bastards of bourbon eh, on that label. Yes. Yes, we want we want the logo on the so label. So we got to figure out where we're going to do it, and yeah. let's do it. Yeah, I think it's a phenomenal idea. That was the one idea. thing I, I actually wanted to talk about tonight because I I think that'd be so cool. Yeah, yeah I, I agree. I do. I do too. I think it'd be Super so cool. awesome. Just be like, yeah, this is my shit. I think it ends up putting us above other it's bourbon podcasts. This my shit. This my shit for sure. <laughs> if anybody was, uh-huh, this my shit. <laughs> oh shit! Well, are we wrapping up? Uh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> she, she was, there was no hesitation oh, for Pam there. <laughs> I'm taking their asses home. All right, we're I, wrapping this shit up. I have to say, go on, get <laughs> that. I was very impressed with this tasting, so much so that before you guys leave, I'm actually going to take a little bit more of this redwood. I'll be honest with you. I didn't expect much from this tasting. I really wanted to taste the last two. The other ones? I was like, no, eh. Just a, like it's a small sip. I didn't. I 100% sip. did not expect Redwood to be as good I as did it not was. either. Yes. All right. Look. Here. Brady. That's good. What? All right. Well. This is the Bass is a Bourbon. Thanks for having me back, guys. Thank uh, you so much. Love you guys. I love it. I love and we're out. This is the highlight. This is a good team here. So I nice like you guys. I, I, you, I, I felt a little disrespected. You guys were well, Tommy Two Phones and, and Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> this a is a little disrespected. A little disrespected. Oh hey, listen. Uh, Obviously, it hey, tastes like cherries. Obviously, we like you more. <laughs> Until they're back on the podcast. Yeah. Then we like them more. Right, right. 
<laughs> and and this could be something. Uh, this could be the start of something great here. Yeah, this here's foursome. Here's family. Here's what we family. Here's what we love. We love drinking good bourbon with good friends. That's right. And every time we have good friends on this podcast, we always think it's the best podcast. That's right. And we just we just love to share bourbon with good people. Right. That's so it. that's it. You got to end it on that. This Cheers. is the best of bourbon. Cheers, Bless. boys. We're Bless. out. Bless. Cheers. 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 Love you guys. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Cut it. <laughs>